If you like the video, please consider supporting James Corp on Patreon. Right, hi everyone, and welcome to week four of Test Chamber uh, as we play Warhammer 40,000 Wrath and Glory. So, um. Huh? Week four, part one. I was just saying part one. Part okay. one of what? Week four. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, good point. <laughs> I just say week four because you know so it's okay. It's just... When I when I cut it out, they don't know there's multiple parts. It's all just like one continuous uh, part. So you've just ruined just... the illusion, Nathan. No, I don't, because I go I go four one or four two after we're back from the break every every single time we do it. Yeah, but I cut Ooh. that all out. I cut I mean, all that team, out. You cut, cut all, all that out. out. They don't they don't see any of that. I cut all that out. Okay, cool. That sucks. Terrible. So um yeah we're back. Uh, unfortunately, real life got in the way of last week. So sorry about not being able to do last week, but unfortunately, things do happen. Um, we've got uh, a Marcus back with us. Hell yeah. Um and uh, yeah we will crack on soon and get on with the actual game that we're playing. Um, but first we're gonna go around and get people to introduce themselves. But before we do that. Don't forget, if you're enjoying this, to like and subscribe. If you're watching this on YouTube, of course. And if you're watching this on Twitch, don't forget to hit that follow button if you haven't done so already. That'd be most appreciated. Now, um, yeah, we're going to go around, get people to introduce themselves. And then we will do a brief recap because it's been about two weeks since we last played. Hopefully people can remember what happened. And um, and yeah, and then we'll, uh, we'll see how this shit show happens. Uh, and we, and then we'll start going off script as I start doing my own shit because uh, that's what I've decided to do. I'm going to use this this whole section as a, a as a base and build build off that. So let's start at the back for once. Nathan, why don't you tell us who you're playing and a bit about yourself, please? Yeah, first of all, why am I in the back? Uh, just kidding. Um, uh, your so, character name starts with a V and no one else's character name starts with a V. That's cool. It's fair, no right? It's the fairest way I do it. Alphabetical. That's cool. That's, <laughs> alphabetical is, that is logic. Um, so I am playing, I, I'm a godless polecat, Nathan Clark. I'm playing uh, Sergeant Validius Payne. He is a, a tempestuous scion, which is, you know, sounds like a, Sounds like a moody child, but that's not what he is. He's a he's special forces basically for the emperor. Yeah, um, that's me. That's my character. Okay, thank you, Marcus. Hey, what's going on, Marcus Freeman? Uh, I'm playing Nicholas Fury. He is a sanctioned psyker. Uh, a special tie. He, he specializes in pyromancy. He's a uh, he's a torture by 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 questioning type person. He likes to kick all the ass and then forgets to take names. All right, cool. Oscar. Okay, so I'm, my name is Oscar. Uh, I'm playing Ivan uh, L412. Uh, he's a Mechanicus, Tech Priest, uh, almost uh, Tech Adept. Uh, he is interested in tech and all the lore that he can come across. Cool. Thank you. And last but not least, Neil. Neil Go. Uh, I'm playing um, Interrogator Davian Tall, an interrogator of the Imperial Inquisition Order Her Hereticus. Um, I am increasingly becoming worried about this planet. Cool. And therefore, bad things are about to happen to it. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. Everything is chill. <clears throat> okay, um, what happened last time? Obviously, Marcus, you, you don't know what happened. Last time on Wrath and Glory. <laughs> so, we had, uh, last time, what had happened was our investigation led us to the uh, Piscator gang. We had learned that um, through a couple, a couple people, uh, mainly Ivan Creel, that uh, the Piscator gang is the ones that kind of control the route to where the, you know, how the, how the murderer that we're looking for was able to actually ride on one of the, 
automated trucks and actually get into and bring smuggled goods into or out of the uh, upper city. So um, we had a uh, we had a an appointed driver, which was a servitor that took us as far as he could go. Or no, it was rail car. It was rail car that took us as far as it could go. Or was it no? Was it it was a servitor? The servitor yeah, took us as far as he could go, and we walked the rest of the way in. Um, and we met up with the Piscator gang, who were a little standoffish at first, but then we some rogue servitor bots like came into the area and tried to attack us. Um, we dealt with them as the Emperor's soldiers do, and uh, by you know hate, fire, bad words, sharp sticks, nuts, bolts, and stuff like that. Bad words were said. Um, the Piscator gang basically uh, alluded to the fact that um, there was a cult. The cult leader, I think, is Garrett or the cult of Garrett or something like that. That's what I have for notes. My notes aren't too clear because they're basically Sergeant Vlidius Payne, GV has gone missing, uh, Hive, Addy on Elite, Prefect Aurelius, four bodies found the last month, cleaner, cleaner body found, candle holder, Praetor Burst, Night Lamp Alcohol, Ivan Krill, the K98 Station Rail Yard number that I wrote down, Operate Smuggler Operation, Piscator Gang, and Cult so, Garrett. <clears throat> just to cover your so to cover your to cover the lack of knowledge, um not your fault, but your lack of notes. Um God, that sounds really awful. To fill in gaps is what I'm gonna do. There was no name of a cult given. Okay. Yeah. I think I'd misnamed somebody then. Yeah, but, I think... But the leader is called Garrett. That's right. I think you're I mixing th up the tradesperson that took us there. That we convinced Maybe. to... Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. The trader. Got it. Boom. Yeah, so it's a suspected cult. We yeah. have uh, we have radioed for uh, Nicholas uh, to meet us there because he was off-site working another lead. Uh, that was fruitless. So Nicholas is linked up with us. And we I think we had had a rough plan that I was going to sneak in a little bit and do a little bit of recon because it's it's I you'd have to set you'll have to set the scene for me again, but we were far enough away where we could kind of plan something out. I, I can't forget if this was like a warehouse or a building or a church or something that we were outside of. So you're outside an overturned silo. That's right, okay. Uh, as a, a, a storage silo that would contain uh, the algae, um, but it's been long, long neglected, and it's it's basically fallen on its side, and it's been repurposed into uh, some other building. Okay. Excuse me. Yeah. And there so was a right. gathering going on, wasn't there? Yes. There is a gathering. Of, yeah, people were turning up from all over, yeah. and there are guards posted. Outside of this um, silo, um, yeah. there's a, almost a makeshift. I'd say there's a makeshift, like, because I imagine this silo is probably open top because it would have, probably have water where where they would keep the algae in, right? Uh, initially, so it'd be an, almost like almost like a vat, a giant vat of liquid would would be uh, where the the algae's stored and grown and and, mm -hmm. and so on and so forth, and. It, it's it's toppled over, um, and there appears to be like um, a makeshift like wall, exterior wall added to the large um, open top of of the uh, of the algae storage. Uh, is that make, does that make sense? What I'm yeah, trying to yeah. say. Yeah. Is it now? Is it? Are we in an enclosed space? Well, oh, yeah, because you're in sky because we're in the lower the, levels of the hive, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. you're you're technically underwater right now. Got it. Yeah. Um. Um. Yeah, you're you're underwater, so it, there is no sky. There is ceiling above, but it is quite high above. If gotcha. that makes any sense, so it is a vast open area under mm -hmm. the uh, in the in the underhive. Um. It's it's probably almost like a city in itself, right? Yeah, yeah. A, a vast mm -hmm. city that stretches out beyond 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 before beyond your beyond the view of, field of view that you've got. Yeah. Okay. Is there any way to climb up and get a bit of a vantage point? There is. Place? Unfortunately, there is. There is nothing around you, and okay. 
you <clears throat> you could probably climb something, but you wouldn't get a better vantage point because it is a gotcha. it is a, uh, a a roofed environment. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Um. Yeah. So. Right. But before we properly start, oh yeah. Uh, before we properly start, has any of you spent your experience from the other week? Yes. Yes. Okay. What I did have you improve? Not. <clears throat> I've generally smattered some stuff around into toughness, agility, uh, and a few skills. Um, things like ballistic skill, um, weapon skill, leadership. Okay. I have increased toughness and bought two talents, feel no pain and right of pure thought. Okay. What's it about? What does that do? Uh, feel no pain negates the penalty for being wounded, as well as increase my wound threshold. Uh, right of pure thought gives me rank bonus to fear tests, resistance uh, to persuasion in intimidation. It also gives me bonus rank to investigation. Okay. Were we supposed to bank Become like a hundred machine than human? Yes. Yeah, were we supposed to bank like a hundred experience points to to advance the next tier level? It doesn't matter anymore. Okay, it doesn't matter anymore. So I can I can just burn all of my all I can burn all hundred and forty two experience points that I have on talents and stuff, right? Have you got hundred and forty two? I got spent 138. Oh, okay. Total 280. We should have a total of 280, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm just going to add uh, add skills and stuff. But Have you lost information on your catch sheets? Because it looks like your origins have all disappeared. Was that yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, like your species and faction and archetypes all disappeared as well. Yeah, I can't fill them in, so I think <laughs> yeah, it must have. It must off. have. Uh, there must be an update that's broken it. So we'll see if it fixes over the next couple of weeks. Yeah, I was going to say I'm all kind of jacked up right now. I still got my talents. Hey, what did the, the first game award for experience points? Nathan, you remember that? 50. It was like 50, yeah. right? Yeah, okay. I want to make sure. Why? Yeah, I'm not so sure anymore if my experience is even correct because whatever. Okay. Okay, so we're going to get ourselves well, we're going to Find out what's going on. Oh, yes. I, I'll tell you why your I'll tell you why your experience has dropped because your archetype cost has disappeared. Got it. Okay. So yeah, just um, I'm gonna choose my archetype then. Yeah. It's got yeah. It's it seems the cat sheets are broken. Oh well. Yeah, so you got you're gonna have your initial like spend of by purchasing into your archetype that's gone um gone haywire. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Go to the book, cool cool book, archetypes. <clears throat> XP cost fifty two, okay, cool. Okay, so what's your plan of action? I think that I believe what we just decided was the reason why we'd recalled Nicholas was because he actually looks the most normal amongst all of us. 
So throwing a rag over the top of him to look like a, a hive welder, he could probably just walk in. The sergeant can take up a vantage point and, um, you know, gain access from above or, some, or from the side. That's his job. And then if things need to kick off, myself and Ivan can just, well, shoot our way through the front door, probably. There's no way I'm putting a, any sort of rag over my Imperial uniform. Okay. That would be most upsetting. Is the seal made out of metal? Uh, probably. Yeah, it's probably made out of some sort of um, metal. I can theoretically walk up on it, in other words, since I have magnetics. Right, but you got to understand the silo is a separate. It's separate from the ceiling, right? Yeah, but I can still walk on the sides until I get to the top. I think what he's saying is he can like he can wall crawl up the side of the silo to get in from the top. Right. Okay. But there are guards like around the silo, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. of course. I'm just I'm sure just I can cause a distraction. Ideas so that people know of the ability. I just wonder what you can do from the top of the silo. I don't know. Cut myself in. I don't know. Yes, there's no way to like have an interesting sort of flap or something that's rusty that they can look through. Maybe. Have you got a rusty flap, James, that they can look through? Maybe. Uh... Okay. So I'm just checking something. Can't you spend glory to modify stuff? Ah. Yes. I'll save the initiative. Okay. I think. Glory? What's the other? No, it's, the I other think shit? it's wrath. I think hilariously the the wrath, the really hard to come by ones, the one where you can go, "Ooh, there's a widget." Yeah. Because God damn it, you will not have authorial control. Yeah, if you want to spend a wrath point, um, Oscar, there will be a uh, there will be a rusted flap on top of the uh, on top of the uh, on top of the silo. Is it worth it, guys? I think it's an easy point of of entry for both you and the sergeant. Then yeah, I think it is. Yeah, sure. I'll calculate our <laughs> chance of surviving this to be zero point zero 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 dot one. <laughs> you still need to give me stealth checks up to the up to the silo itself, right? To be not surrounded it, by God. Can I cause a distraction? Sure, if you want to cause a distraction. Yeah, yeah, but, that's so. I'll cause but, a distraction. To help is Marcus you guys. going in before you cause a distraction? Yes, the point would be for me to go in first, and then you can do that while everybody else can maneuver, get into position. Okay. Okay, what are you doing, Marcus? Uh, well, I'm walking in. I have the, I have the hood over my head, heads down, just kind of blending in with the crowd and moving in. I'm going to kind of stay hidden on Overwatch, so in case something goes down, I can rush forward firing madly and get into position to get in the front door. And back, back Nicholas up. Okay. Okay, Marcus. Sorry, it's not Mark. No, it is Marcus, isn't it? it... Yeah, yep. So I've got two different names for you now. I've got Mason and Marcus. I understand. Marcus is just fine. Right, Marcus, Marcus give fine. us a. Okay, I'm gonna need. I need you to give me a deception test, please, at 
DM three. DM three. Okay. Roll six. Uh, so you can at the moment you haven't succeeded. Hmm. Can you oh, hold on, never mind. Rank. What are you doing? Nothing. I'm, I'm just. All right. Yeah. Six. Six. Well. Can. Let me make sure I got this right. So I'm already at DM base three, rank none, and just roll, right? That's right. You just rolled, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. You yeah. Well. All right, cool. I'm gonna make sure. I'm at six. Yeah, you got one you got one success. You need two more successes to pass. Can he spend a point of glory to re roll? Yeah, it says you can you can increase the dice pool. You can spend glory to add bonus dice to any test. Each point of glory spent increases the dice number of bonus dice by one. You can only do this after the initial roll and any re-rolls of failures using ref. Uh, the bonus oh. dice you gain through this option you can be, can't be re-rolled. Can you re-roll then? Yes, by wrath, isn't it? Yeah. You okay, you can spend wrath to re-roll. <laughs> And glory to add bonus dice. Okay, so yeah, so Marcus, you have so spend a point of wrath and use a point of glory to add one bonus die. Got it. Okay. Uh, if you right click, yeah, if you just right click the roll you've done, right, it will bring up an option of reroll failed and minus one wrath slash ruin. You see yeah. it? Uh, I'm, I'm right click it. Yeah. Reroll yeah. fail. Yep. Got it. Give me one second. Here we go. Crap. <laughs> oh, well. Two successes. You can still spend a glory to add an additional dice if you want to. Let's go for it. Pretty please with sugar on top. Good lord. Uh, an quick... additional point? Uh, I've just spent it for you. Glory, this is not not Raf. Okay. Okay, and just um just click uh click the D in the bottom in the bottom right hand corner there's a dice tray. If you just click the D six and roll that. You're looking to get four or more. All right, give me one second. And then hit roll. No, no, no. All right. Sorry. You're good, do you man. See the, the game's do, you see all the, do you see all the dice at the bottom, right? Yeah, no, yeah, no. I, I see it. I'm, I'm just having a. Never done? mind that. Never mind that. I, I got it right here. Sorry. Oh, right. Here we go. Here's the roll. Okay, that's not a success. Oh, all right. Good God. All right. Okay. It, there you go. Okay. So, <laughs> Mar Marcus, way down there. Marcus, you, uh, you, as you sort of go in, as you sort of like about to enter the, uh, enter the, the, uh, the, the silo, one of the guards eyes you up and down. And says, 
You can't bring those in here. Bring what? Those guns. You're going to have to leave them with me. A last pistol? Sure, you can have it. The last pistols and the full s and, and the and the staff as well. I needed to walk to assist me. I'm sorry. We can't allow any form of weapon. Uh, give me okay. Uh, give me a cunning roll, please. And I also have a, a six in intimidation. You want a cunning roll? Yes, please. You got it. There you go. And a wrath critical. One point of glory added to the group's pool. Did that go up for everyone? Yep. Is it back up to five? Not yet, but probably soon. Fuck's sake. Yep. It's that, five. That you got to, like, move the window, grab the window, move it a little bit, and it'll update. Mm -hmm. There you go. It's really weird. Yeah. It should automatically update. Don't know why it's not doing that. It does. The next time you interact with the window, it... Yeah, okay. Okay, he goes... He goes, okay, just hand over your weapons. So you want the last pistol? Yeah. There Both you go. Of them. I only have one last pistol, sir. Catch sheet says you got two. No, I got one. I got one last pistol, and then you have the knife and then the staff. That's all I have. What what knife? The the psychic, the psychonic hey. knife. Yeah, he's. It's not a weapon. It's used to. He uses it to ritually kill himself if he's. Yeah, if I go too crazy. If he goes too crazy, he commits seppuku. It's just a piece of equipment like my mess kit or my oh, okay. um, All right. my like book or whatever. All right, where well, he takes the gun off you. He says, "Okay, you're free to enter." Thank you, sir. All right, what's the rest of you doing? <laughs> well, if you two get ready to go, I'm going to try and enter in full inquisitorial gear with chain sword and <laughs> we can have a similar conversation so i'm still hidden getting ready to make entry yeah, yeah. i assume I, I like marcus has one of those earbud <laughs> communicator things right the little ear i do box. i do yeah, so why, don't, why don't we just let him go in and uh listen and call for backup should he need it yeah as yeah, we then, go along and I, but, and I can kind of give feedback what we see but if you're in the roof, then you are the backup already in, should he need it. Oh, I'm not on the roof. No, but you will be when you climb up it. Oh, I'm going to climb. Yeah. <laughs> I'm climbing up the roof. Okay. I thought you were going to go on the roof to provide overwatch, Nathan. No, I was waiting to make entry by the front door. Oh, you, what? It's, yeah, it's the, the, you, you stand the, out even more. You stand out even more than I do. You've got like <laughs> yeah, I carapace armor on. Like, yes. Hello. There's no deception. It'd be like, let's make a deception check. Because I know, let's just do what I'm good at. I open fire. <laughs> no, the the tech priest is the one spider climbing up the up the side. Am I supposed to oh, go with okay. him? Okay. Yeah. I thought you okay, were going to go. I'll go. With him. I'll, all right. I'll go up there with him. All right. That's good because I've got a grab shoot on. I want to use it. <laughs> so I'm gonna bust in the ceiling like the Kool Aid Man and float down like Baron Harkonnen and open fire. <laughs> okay. Give me an athletics check, please, Nathan. No Shall I distract first? Uh, it's going to be... Oh, no, no. Actually, no. Before you give that, before you do that, before both of you climb that rule, you need to give me stealth checks, which is what... And um, and Neil is going to be doing a distraction. So right. let's do the distraction first, and then we'll do some stealth checks. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to... Um, I'm going to rock up to the front door and just try and, and basically walk, you know, as if nobody's... You know, I'm these, who are these guards? They're irrelevant to me. Yeah. Um, so all sweeping great coat and and arrogance and just like walk as if I'm just walking through the guards. Uh, okay, so the guards sort of step in your way. Sorry, sir, this is a private function. I'm a member of the Inquisition. My God, man, there is nowhere private for us. Let me in by order of the Emperor. <laughs> 
they say. Do they say when I say by order of the emperor? Yep. It's a little, little vein twitching in my brow where I'm like, really, I must now kill you regardless. But that was up on the plan. And I was saying, I'll, I'll, like, I've never been so insulted in my life. One of them is like, you? one of them is like, you know, uh, I guess, you know, one of them is on the radio, radio, like a radio to their other colleagues. Yeah, we might have a problem here, guys. Do you know what I can call down upon this place? Should you not let me through the door? I'm, I'm, I'm purposefully not trying to, inter- I'm, I'm almost, I'm almost sort of being like Warhammer 40,000 Karen rather than actually trying to intimidate them. I'm just making an awful lot of noise and bluster, um, but never quite getting there. Okay. Can you give me a deception test, please? No. Or no intimidation. Or intimidation. Yes. I'd you're, sort of, you, you're not, you're just trying to confuse them. You're not actually trying to, oh, okay. That's another point added. Yeah, so I'm not going to be using my intimidating oh, no. voice because that yes. would be wrong. So it's just um, just that. Um, what does the fucking roll look like? What's the DM? It's always three is the base. Yeah, it's going to be DM three. Oh my fucking god. Seven successes, four failures, one possible shift. Ba 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 ba. He's loving it. <laughs> okay, so um so with that shift, what would you like to do with the shift? Um I can use the shift to like alter the scene, can't I? No, you can shift the results of like a combat test to be more beneficial. You can shift to gain more information. You can shift, I think, for a result like a. So can I can I use it to um to have all the guards looking my way? Certainly. Are they shifting? Gain information, improve quality, improve speed. Shifting for extra damage, shifting for glory. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll essentially shift for quality. I'll have them all look in my way. I'll be exceptionally distracting. Well, like I said, they were on, one of them was on their radio, so all the guards that are like positioned around the the, the perimeter of this of the silo sort of start walking towards the front of the front of the building where you are. Yeah, I'll just be louder so that you can hear. And so they can get themselves away. Okay, um, Oscar and Nathan. So I'm not using your character names because I'm I've got so I've got too many screens open, but I need the other screen open. That's fine. I uh, no, it's too can much you, fake Latin. Can you give me? Can I give you bonus dice? Is that is that something I can do? Hang on. What you can that? you can oh. reduce the DN of the check if you want. That would be better. That's the same as giving bonus dice. DN, all right. Yeah. So instead of a DN3 stealth right, it's check, gonna it's be an DN2 easy, It's going to be one. an easy stealth check. So you're looking for one, a DN of one. Oh. Then you're going to have to give me a, a athletics roll, Nathan. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to add I some you? rank. Another point of glory. Two, two possible shifts. I got seven successes, five failures, two possible shifts, and a wrath complication, and a partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> can I spend? Can I spend? Can I spend? Ra- no, I can't spend wrath to ignore the complication. Can I? Hmm. Okay. Row complication. Past problem. Something from your past comes back to haunt you. An old wound flares up or pain distracted by the memory. Three. Um, 
<laughs> yeah, while I'm while I'm climbing up, um, yeah, while I'm climbing up, an old knee injury flares up. Well, this is stealth. This is you stealthing. Oh, it's a stealth. Oh, yeah, then so I maybe, just maybe uh, you're having a fat. So your character suffers from PTSD, doesn't he? So maybe he's having flashbacks yeah, yeah. where he's sneaking past a bunch of uh, hormigons or something. Yeah. Hormigons. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. So yeah, that's what happens. But he kind of snaps out of it, and so it might take me an extra turn. I think was it like would take me an extra turn to do it to get there before I have to make an athletics check because I'm kind of froze up. Sure. That makes sense. Okay. And can he carry you? Uh... Who, who can carry me? Me. Be my no, sub arm. Nobody can carry me. <laughs> I, I think my sub arm will grab you by the neck and then just levitate up there. <laughs> Is there rules for assisting? Hang on. My athletics check is pretty goddamn high. Okay, then, then you're allowed to climb if you want. I've got to. eight dice. I'm just going to stand there and levitate. Standing straight up all the way. Yeah, and if I fall, I can't get hurt because I have a grav shoot. Yeah, Nathan, tell so. me, tell me what this flashback's like. So yeah, I'm sneaking back. Um, I'm, I, I think I'm, I'm sneaking to the side, like to, to link up with uh, Oscar's character. And um, as I'm crouched down, the guards that are running, uh, the guards are running back past me, back to the, uh, back to the the thing their footsteps sound like maybe i don't know like it just reminds Ooh. me of of hiding on that uh, on that planet from like hormigants or like gene stealers that are running past and it's, it sounds it says the same cadence and the same same footfall pattern that that i was hearing when i was by myself you know maneuvering around on a alien planet or alien captured planet Okay, cool. Yeah, and it causes me to stop, and I can't get, I can't really snap out of it, and then I, I try to get a grip, but that'll be next turn. All right, give me, um, give me athletics rolls, please. Oh, just Nathan, isn't it? It's just, um, yeah, I'm just levitating up the hill. Or, I can roll two to avoid, uh, to avoid, um, you know what I mean, future waiting. You can roll what? Oh, I can roll now too if you want, just to avoid you know waiting on the next turn. Well, we're not really doing turns at the moment. Okay, so just cool. give us a roll. Yeah. Uh, same difficulty, DN three. Yes. All right. Uh, the shifts can we use them for anything else than glory? Bro, what's going on, man? <laughs> Let's talk about it. <laughs> You gotta go to the VA, man. Yeah, I got. Yeah. You gotta go. I'm, to I'm the fine. VA. I'm fine. I'm really. I'm you fine. gotta get some help. I'm fine. Really, I'm fine. Um, uh, no, because six is the maximum glory you can have. Okay. Yeah. So what is a uh? What's a possible shift on? Okay. So no, I'm gonna use my shift to climb faster. Okay. Uh, I'm my two it. possible shifts to climb faster, but I'm also going to. How do we gain wrath? By doing something uh, cool, you, you can you can shift glory. Can you shift? Can you do shifting? You can shift to um. Sorry. Shift for glory, but can I shift to give wrath? You get wrath by fulfilling your objective. That's so right. Then... Okay. And uh, currently, all the objectives have fucking disappeared. Typical. Yeah. No. Right on. I have mine. Yeah. Don't rob me of my hate. It's all I have left. <laughs> All right, I'm rolling a complication. That's not good. Warp interference. The chaos guards are watching. For a moment, you feel the eyes of one of the ruinous powers on you. They frighten you, learn one of your secrets, or cause a supernatural mishap. Six. I think this is an extension of... Um, I think this is an extension of what previously happened. So, like, I was locked up, and then, like... I'm climbing, I'm climbing the side of this silo, but I'm using my shifts to climb quicker because, um, because this, uh, I'm going to take the, yeah. the, the fear condition, but, uh, for, for, I guess I'll take the fear condition for a turn. Um, because I'm, I'm like, I have like, I'm still kind of shook up from the past memory of, of Tyranids. 
and I'm climbing this silo. You know how like when you were a little kid and you know you, you move quicker because you don't want to turn and look behind you because you think something's behind you. That's what I'm doing. I'm climbing up the silo like there's Tyranids behind me. And if I get the silo and I turn around and look at them, they don't get me. All right. And then if, if yeah. Okay. So two, the two of you get up on top of the silo. Sweating bullets. <laughs> Got like some I said, wild boys. Yeah, hot in here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And Marcus, you're inside. Right. So, inside, there is about uh, almost a hundred people in here. You think at, at a glance? Say it one more time. There's, you think there's at least a hundred people in here at a glance, like a hundred attendees at, at the event uh, in this in this build in the in the con, in the con, con, congress. Right. Uh, I'm I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take a free a, a free action and uh, do some sign of science and just try to figure out if I detect any presence of the warp. You definitely detect presence of the warp. Then, okay. So I'm gonna radio that back into the guys. Hey, uh, I'm I'm getting some some tensions up. Uh, there's some there's some presence. There's some warp activity happening inside where I'm at right now. What is? What's your character? Sorry, what's your character? Crap. Nicholas. Uh, no, no, not you, Ivan. Ivan. Yes? What are they? What are they saying? What's going on? Damn, I should have, I should have bought lip reading. <laughs> uh, I, I can't I can't really say. What do you mean you can't say? I thought you have a radio. No, I'm not the one with radio. You're not the one with radio. <laughs> we should, probably should have been given. Okay, my guys, my guys like coming on glued on the roof. It's all going to shit. I know it's all going to shit. We got to get in there. We got to get in there. We're, we're looking through. Oh yeah, little, uh, oh yeah, because it's, it's only it's only. I think it's Nicholas has got a radio and. Uh, yeah. Uh, date, uh, yeah, because because that's how imperial requisitioning works. We don't even have radios. Because I chose grenades instead. Yeah. <laughs> and I should. How many times have we used the Vox beads? Not how many times we use grenades. We're about to use grenades. Well, I will. I will back away from my argument, and then I'll be given um, sort of calming words to Nicholas, saying it's okay. It's okay. You're safe. Yes, it's the yes. There's warp stuff. Keep calm. Remember, the emperor loves you. <laughs> okay. Okay. So. So yeah, so so this this place has been, uh, I'd say this has almost been converted into some sort of like church. I'd say not a church, but it's sort of on the on the verge of being like a almost a, a relig religious building for inside. Um, at the back, there is a, a stained glass window that has been like cut out of the bottom of this of the uh, of the silo and the, this 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 mosaic of um of glass and lead lining has basically a, there's a, a a picture of a woman um with a strange symbol that you 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 don't recognize in 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 a in a sort of in the center of her chest can we see this too? Uh, From our position. Yes. How many How arms we... does she have? Huh? How many arms does she have? Just the two. Okay, good. How are we seeing this? Are we looking through a hole, an opening, or there's a hatch? Does that there's a hatch? So you're looking down. You've opened this hatch, and you're looking down upon the okay. Congress. Okay. Okay. You can. You can all see, um, so yeah. So like, there's uh, there's like hundreds of people in here, and there is um, at the back. Like I said, so there's a stained glass window. Uh, the the symbol is 
let me get you a symbol. Uh, while Do you're I doing that, I'm handing. Uh, I hand a grenade to uh, to Ivan. I'm like, here. I was like, if I'm going in, you're gonna need to throw this before I go in. And I hand him a grenade. And I, uh, I'm getting a grenade out too. Okay, I, yep. I, I do have one question. What's up? Oh, how are you getting down? I have a grab shoot. So I can I can drop through in my carapace armor. There's a grab shoot, so I can drop from any height, and I just float down to the. Oh, okay. All right. It's part of my okay, part of so, my standard equipment. Yeah. All right. I <laughs> just imagine Ave Maria playing while you fall down yeah. to start dumping. Yeah, just start okay. that mag dumping. The... <laughs> so there is a dais in the middle, which like or well, not at the back. There's a raised dais um, where there are some people standing. Um, one of them is a bald fellow who's who seems to be scra- scowling a lot, and he seems to be talking to um, a gentleman that looks like that. Looks like oh, that guy at the top. Yeah. Ooh, groovy. Um, can you give like me? I go to Ivan. That's Gene Stealer. I know that's a Gene Stealer. No, they don't. They 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 have. They only have two arms. All of them. Can you give me a perception check, uh, everyone who's in the room? Oh, that's only one, right? Do we right? count in the room? Do we count as in the room? Yes. Okay. Well, all right. Anyone have a view from the to the room? Okay. My perception is awareness roll. You mean? Uh, did I say perception? You said perception. Yeah, yeah. It's awareness. Uh, awareness. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, DN three. DM4, because you're quite far away. Okay, makes sense. It's going well for you, Mr. Payne. The sudden pain. Where's my... Wow. Did I roll another? Yep. Yep. <laughs> I rolled another complication. I got two successes, three failures, and another wrath complication. Uh, I, I am I'm at top this silo, coming unglued. Like you, you look over and you see me, and you see you see like like <laughs> this, I'm sweating. I'm like physical mishap. You're clumsy or tongue tied. You do or say something you didn't mean to cause a problem. Hmm. Yeah, I uh, oh, crap. <laughs> you give away our permission. No, I think I should. I think I should hit the go button right now. I think... Oh man! I can't really see. Oh man! <laughs> I yeah. think. Yeah, yeah. I think I I come unglued. That's it. It's uh. It's go time. It's it's go. It's, I look at Ivan and I'm like I'm like. Throw the grenade, and I I pull the pin on my hand grenade, and get ready to throw with Ivan. Whew. Oh. So Ivan, are you, are you are you throwing the grenade in with me? No, I'm trying to stop you. We haven't gotten any intel yet. What we need? Intel? They're gene stealers. I say that a little too loud. Well, Wait, you're gonna have to role play it, Ivan. Yeah, okay. yeah. You don't uh, understand. They're down there. It's a swarm. I'm. Con- we're going. Get the grenade ready. I'm jumping in. It's not in. a swarm. It's civilians. There, there's. As far as we know, they're just civilians. What the emperor's blood? You think it's? What do you mean civilians? We need more it's proof. Obviously, we need, we need a to know cult. how far this goes. How much proof do you need? They murdered a guy up in his house. They, they have a smuggling ring. They have a church. What do you, maybe what do you they think? Have, they're, you maybe think they're they're emperor- the the. Um, the head, head of this planet, uh, the the governor. Maybe they have the governor locked up. We need to find where he is first. We can't just blow him up. Maybe what he's do down mean, there. You mean to find him? If they have the governor locked up. 
Who do you think? Who do you think they're praying to downstairs? Who do you think they're praying to down there? You think it's the emperor? We can't know for sure. What do you mean you can't know for sure? I mean, I've seen the emperor has many faces in, in different kinds of views. I mean, have you seen a fairer world? How they you... to the emperor? I don't think we're on the same sheet of music here. I'm in the I'm in the stomp out heresy and do the emperor's will. That's 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 what kind of group I'm in right now. What kind of yeah. group are you in? Hey, let's go oh, have I'm... a conversation with them and see if they want to rethink their ideas and values. Because you're starting to no, sound no. like part of the problem right now. I'm all for stomping out the heresy, but I, we are. St- I think we should let uh, Marcus do his thing first so that he doesn't die in the explosion. Okay, you're right. Friendly Oof. fire is not friendly. <laughs> I see. I see anything surge forward. I see the group move in any way I don't like. I'm dropping the grenade. I'm dropping it in, and we're gonna I'm light this thing that. on let's, fire. Let's, let's wait, let Marcus do his thing, and let's see Nicholas. what. what he, I mean, Nicholas, do his thing, and let's see what, what how that goes. Okay, so Ivan, with your four success, sorry, five successes on your on your awareness roll, okay, that almost got derailed by someone trying to throw a grenade. You did mm-hmm. spot the bald-headed guy handing who you believe is Garrett, uh, handing him a weapon and a note. Before and to, then, to once he, huh? To who you said? He hands to it who, to. Yeah, who, hands it to that fella there. Okay. And then you see that he, he's as I said, he was talking to um, he was he was sort of muttering to Garrett like on the stage, like you know, with his hands up and shit, and Garrett is nodding to everything he's saying, and then. He finishes hands finishes the conversation, hands him the weapon and a note, and then he heads to the side of the head heads to the edge of the stage and climbs down the stairs. And as he does so, a group of people rush towards him, um, uh, with, with an utter look of admiration on their face, and they they exit out of a side door. The bald man and the people. Yep. And he's got a big collar around his head as well. Okay. Do I see this? Yes, from from your point of yeah. Okay. <clears throat> um, does uh, does Davian see us up up where we are? Uh, no, he's got. <clears throat> does he know that you're going up there? Yes. Uh, well then, yeah, uh, Nicholas, you would, uh, would okay. You you do see that the hatch, the hatch, that um, Ivan and no, no, uh, Davian, and... does Davian, our Inquisitor, see us? Well, you're on, you're on the inside. I'm on the outside. No, I'm. We're on top. But you, it's like yeah, but I can't see up there. I'd have oh, to okay, see, okay. see no, off on the top. What do you mean? Because he's at the front gate entrance, creating that scene still. Uh, okay, okay. Now he's pulled back from the scene. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hmm. Well, then, then I, I, I tell uh, Sergeant Payne, uh, there's two men moving, uh, a man moving out with a small following. Uh, could you move to the side and see what, uh, keep an eye on them? Yeah. Uh, is there a way for me to do that? Uh, you'd have to walk across to the other side of the... Um... The other side of the silo, and you you'll be able to get a view from there. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. There's another hatch. Uh, there's probably a back door. Okay. Uh, is it on the ground or on the on the top? It'll Still on be the on roof. The, it'll be on the ground. It'll be on the ground. All right. Okay. So yeah, so uh, pain as you sort of head towards uh. Uh, the edge of the roof to look over to see what's going on down there. 
A hush falls among the hundreds or so that fill the meeting hall. As as uh, as the figure who who's standing on the the raised dais at the end of the uh, meeting hall steps forward onto a next to a podium. He looks to be a slim man, uh, though it's difficult to tell from where your vantage point. The figure is a contrast to those below him, where they wear dirty, uh, dirty rags. He wears a lilac-coloured silk shirt. Where their hair is matted and dull, his is shiny, wavy blonde. Where theirs are huddled and desperate, he is smiling and open. As soon as all the attention is on him, he begins, he begins to speak. Welcome to you all, those who are already enlightened and to, and to those who are new and wish to be enlightened. All are welcome here. I am Garrett. Without enlightenment, you'd have been you. Without enlightenment, you would have been born, worked to be worked to the bone, and died here with no knowledge of anything. This would have been your entire life, your entire existence, because you knew of no other life that there could be. There is another way. There is another life. And I am here to tell you of that life, to show it to you and to let you feel it. You held his rags for clothes and slop for food. You think this is all there is because you don't know of any alternative. You don't know that things can be different, that things should be different. Only by following my lead will, will you make it different. For this is not just how the world is. No. Your world is like this because others have made it so. A ruling elite that high is, uh, that high that that lives high above us, sucking everything towards themselves, taking what the god emperor fought for us all to have, and to keep it just for themselves. They deny you food and they deny you clothing. They deny your future, and they deny your happiness. Um. Attendants start to give out items for the con congestion, uh, congregation to pass around. These are examples of what you have been denied, of what you can claim back. The stuffed shirt is the clothing that they wear. The bottled scent is the air they breathe. And this, he holds up, a bunch of vibrant, succulent purple grapes, is the sweet food they eat. The items you see, the items you see being passed around, are ones of no, ones noted as being taken from the murder scenes, such as a a a a, a lamp, a purple silk shirt, and an exotic rug. These items are being marvelled at by the congregation, pawned over by, and touched, and sincerely rubbed against skin. Some are even brought to tears, experience sensations for the first time that they've never known, knew existed. Um, he says, um, The Star Mother wants all her followers to do well and live their best lives. She will eventually find her way towards the Gilead system. It's only a matter of time, and those that are the most devoutful will receive her blessings. The elites of the upper, upper hive are non-believers. They do not believe in the Star Mother. They believe in this false god, the God Emperor. He who denies you of your truths and your luxuries. He who demands that you sacrifice your lives so that his reign continues on un un I've, I've suddenly lost words un um unopposed and un and unjustified the downtrodden here you live lives that aren't lives you 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 you're, you are you are you are forced into labor from your birth it is not fair but the great the Star Mother will never allow this to happen. When she arrives, she will take you into her bosom and give the most devout of you 
all her attention. So. Can I shoot this guy from where I'm at? Certainly. <laughs> no, I sent you away to spy on other guy. That's a good point. You can't see it. Or hear it. Oh, I don't know what's going on? Okay. No, you don't know what's going on. Okay. Alright. Um, uh, so and he I... says, he says, there is a doom coming to the Uphivers. A great levelling. I have dreamt of it night after night. I have seen the hive itself split and the top of the spire fall into the ocean below. I have taken this as prophecy and on your behalf I have acted upon it. I tore down the head of state. Jarrett reaches into the bag and, uh, and pulls out a finely crafted pistol of some sort. that You're not too sure what it is. Um, Do I see the pistol or is it too small for me? Uh, you can just about make out the pistol, yes. Okay. It is definitely a, um, a customised last pistol of some sort, you'd say. Okay. Yep. Uh, probably something that a, a noble or someone important would, would have probably had made uh -huh. specially for them. Yep. We all work together to even the score. You will go out and spread the word and recruit more to our calls while I, uh, while I will go this very moment back up to serve Aurelius, uh, to, back up to sever Aurelius's head and I will con continue to topple this hive one tyrant at a time until we are ready to rise up as one and take back what is ours by right. And the crowd is whipped into a frenzy. Cheers at this. At which point, Garrett turns and starts to leave. Remind us who Aurelius is. Prefect Aurelius is the person you met when you first arrived on the planet. Great loss. <clears throat> but still, this is, I assume this has been, um, like, you've had the, your vox open, Nicholas, so I could hear that. Yes. While this was happening, uh, I was while this speech was happening, I was asking, can anyone hear what's going on? Well, somebody's just condemned themselves as a heretic openly in public. Um, there are no other gods other than the god emperor, and worshipping the star mother is heresy. So there we go. But we need to go and save the uh the prefect. What do I hear? Um... Well, when you get to the edge, all you see is a group of people come out of the building and enter a, a vehicle. Is there any way? How far away is the vehicle from the from the silo, the overturned silo, the roof, basically? Uh, it's probably short to medium range. Okay, so I couldn't jump off and grab shoot on top of the vehicle. Uh, what's the range of a grab shoot? It's not really a jetpack. It just slows the descent. I would have to jump out and then hope it. You know, I mean, hope I jumped far enough to get onto the to get onto the thing. Sure, you could do it with an athletic check. Okay, so what are the um, what are those? So who are the people that are with the bald man? What do they look like? Well. They've got rags and shit over them, so you can't really see. But they look human. From they look humanoid from your uh, vantage point. They look human. Okay. All right. Um. Are there any vehicles uh, next to mine? Or Ain't next to them? There are any any other vehicles next to their vehicle they're getting into? Nope. It's the only parked limousine out the back. Okay. If Salim has seen you, you were right. They're the incidents. 
They're what? If it's a limousine, then you were right. They are union stealers. Yeah. The, <laughs> the, the, the license plate says GNSTLR. <laughs> 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 so I'm gonna. <laughs> um, I think I want to take this guy. I want to take him. How? F- mm. Yeah. So, uh, how many? How many people? So, sorry, I'm being so nitpicky here. I'm, I'm about to do something that I can't take back. Um, how many people are with him exactly? Six. Like with rags and stuff. Six. Is it six people? And is yeah. one of them driving? And the rest no, are all in one the of, one of one of them's already in the car. There's already someone in the car. Already someone in the car. And they're gonna get in the back of the limo with yeah. him. Is it six females? You can't or tell it, from this can't tell from this distance. You can't, okay. you can't tell because of the rags covering their bodies. Alright. I'm gonna take a run and jump and I'm gonna grab shoot on top of the car. Before they get in or when they get in? Uh, when they get them. wait till they all get in. Okay. I'm gonna try to time it that I land on it and then they start to pull off and either either they don't hear me land on it, which I don't think they're gonna do, or they're gonna decide to speed up or whatever because they get scared, but they'll lead me a little bit farther away from the venue, basically. And then we'll uh, then we'll go from there. Um so uh Oscar, don't forget you still have a grenade. Yep, I know. I, I handed you a grenade, I only have two of them. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> All right, so athletics check. Yes, please. Let's do it. All righty. Let's gonna, play games. Let's play games. I'm going to – can I spend the glory to add bonus dice? You can do it after you roll, I believe. But I can do it after If you want to do it before, you can do it before. No, I think it's just wrath. Wrath is one, but yeah, okay. Is it a DN3? DN4 DN. because of the distance away from – DN4 check, okay. Bam. Hmm. Four successes. So that's approved. All right. Yeah. I uh, I take a leap off, grab, shoot down. Okay. Land yep. on top of land you, on top of the car. Yep. You you land on top of the car with a thud. As as the car as as you land on it as the car starts pulling away. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to let it, <laughs> I'm going to let it get, uh, if, if they don't do anything, do anything to react to me on top of the car, I'm going to let it get like further down, like the, 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 the road, basically, whatever it is, the hallway, the, I don't know what we're in. It, like I said, it's a no, like it's a vast open, it's yeah. basically open, right? It's completely open area with buildings inside the area. So imagine almost like a dome city, but the dome city is stacked with another dome city on top, with another dome city on top, and it slowly gets smaller and smaller as it goes up. So it's it's open right. plan down here. So and there's it's mainly like, um, it's mainly down here. It's like, um, does it do they have roads or it's just yes. spaces that they're driving between? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I mean, roads is a there are probably roads, whether they're well maintained. They're probably full of potholes, you know. Um, gotcha. Because it's not it's not very well maintained down here. All right. Um, here's my decision. I'm either going to put laser shots through the engine to try to disable the car, or I'm going to just toss a grenade in the front seat with the driver. What do you guys think I should do? <laughs> Oh, hey, toss that grenade, baby. <laughs> toss, that, toss that grenade, baby. All right, all right, all right. I prepped, I prepped the grenade down, and I just smash it through the window and throw it into the front seat with the driver. Okay. I think you roll. We roll for grenade. What was it we were saying? It was funny. What do we roll? Athletics? I think it's athletics, yeah. It's athletics, yeah. All right. Boom, 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 boom. Six successes, one possible shift. Um, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to have the shift add extra damage. So let me actually let me 
Hold on, I shouldn't have done that. I should have probably rolled it off the sheet, shouldn't I? Yeah, I should have rolled it off the sheet. Wait a minute. Nope, ballistic skill, frag grenade, base. Oh, is it ballistic skill? It's saying it's ballistic skill, yeah. But that's wrong. I thought it was that much, wasn't it? Let me double check. Yeah. I mean, it's just going to give me more dice. That's all it's going to do. It's not going to be weapon skill, it's going to be ballistic skill. Um... <clears throat> okay, got it. Hold on. Yeah, it says including another character, then make a DN3 ballistic skill test. Apply range effects as normal unless you are using a thrown weapon like a grenade if you fail the test. Misses and scatters. If you succeed, the explosion is centered on your target. If you're measuring distance, the blast rating determines the radius of the explosion in meters. Anyone inside this radius is hit by the attack, which is the driver. If you are targeting a mob or using a simplified theater of mind approach, the number of nearby individuals hit by the explosion is equal to half the blast rating. You cannot, sh you cannot shift to increase the damage of a blast, okay? If you inflict a critical hit with a blast weapon, the effects apply to all targets hit by the attack. Okay, I'll say this. I'm going to use the shift... Like, I don't know. I don't think you can use shift to do that. Anyway, okay. Increase damage? You can't. Not with a blast. You can't, oh, okay. uh, you can't increase damage with it. Too bad. Increase blast radius. So what are you rolling then? I'm trying to figure out what I have to roll for damage. It's, it's damage 10, blast 6. That's 6 meters. So it's 10 damage to the dude. Let me uh, let me let me just roll the test again. Let me let me roll it again using the uh, using the actual thing. Two possible shifts. Roll damage. Boom. Damage thirteen. Okay. So yeah, so it does thirteen damage to the car, the engine, the okay. driver. Okay. You 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 you. So you get the grenade. You throw it in. You throw it into the window. The window's bulletproof. The window's bulletproof. Okay, so it like so I I, I hit. Does the grenade bounce off, or does do I do I yeah. hit? The, so, the window doesn't so, break. So the window doesn't break. It's you crack it because that's how <clears throat> like you put yep. a dent in it. The, the grenade bounces off the window and pretty much explodes, not too far from the vehicle. All right, then I uh, okay. Then I guess it's my turn. And I'll uh, I'll um, wait and shoot through the engine on my next action. Well, the grenade the grenade probably wrecks the engine and the car, and it comes okay. to a grinding halt. Okay, all right, that's fine. All right. As the doors to the uh, limousine open up. All the doors All right. open up. All the doors open up. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna jump down uh, to where. Did I see which 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 door the guy got into? Like the back left rear, back right rear of the vehicle. Well, it's back. quite spacious in a limousine, so it wouldn't matter what he got into. But okay, I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna door... jump. Okay. Sorry. I'm gonna jump down when someone tries to get out of the car. I'm just gonna jump down right on top of them. We need to go to initiative right now. Split the party. That's always a good idea. I'm just down the street. I'm sure you heard the explosion. Oh yeah. <laughs> I failed my initiative check. <laughs> oh, or do you want to start the? Uh, do you want to start the um, combat tracker? Just roll off initiative off of that. Roll for the whole group. Yeah, I'll do that in a minute. Can you just bear with me? I'm having to read some notes. Yeah, you're okay. Yeah. 
I will be rep two seconds. So we got initiative wrong last time, didn't we? Yep. Oh, they are. Yeah, Cult popcorn initiative, isn't it? It's... We have a goal, you have a goal, we have a goal, you have a goal. Mm -hmm. yeah. Problem is, he separated himself from everyone. So just, just so I've got this straight, James, the person in the limousine that's just about to be pulverized is that the person who handed over the note and then left with the gaggle of sycophants yes or is that the person who's heading up hive nope nope nathan's jumped down on the person who who handed the note and the gun to the to the uh to uh uh garrett okay in that case just before this starts i will signal to nicholas to withdraw from there because we need to go up the hive. We need to protect the um, protect the the prefect, and I'm going to hope that the intense military training that the sergeant has gone through will make him understand what the prime objective here is, because obviously our munitions and acquisitions problem of not being able to get four fecking radios means that we have to go off i don't know instinct and intuition so um <laughs> the report will be scathing so what i'm going to suggest is that that uh, nicholas and davian hot footed back towards the transport train things that we were on to get us down here so we can get back up as quickly as possible okay and find right. the prefect and protect him from lunatic with gun. Well, you might be able to head him off at the station or on a train. Well, yes. But obviously that has to be my first thing is getting there. So we might as well get a head start. And then it gives us something to do whilst he's killing people. Okay. Um, all right. Kidneys. How the fuck do I do initiative in this game? If it's you popular. add everybody you want to the to the combat tracker, and then yeah. roll the initiative for everyone that's on there. No, but we, there's a popcorn initiative, though, isn't it? I go, you go. How does it go? How does it work when there's only like one combatant versus more than one enemy person? Oh, I don't know. Let's look at let's look at the rules. Bam, cool rule book. Combat. I just saw him tracking what what was conveyed to me and what are we doing? Um, we're pulling out and we're heading back up the hive as quickly as possible to intercept the guy that's going to assassinate the prefect. Got you. With our scarily deep baritone voices. Mm-hmm. Quick question: How far is it from me to the scene where I, he was can standing? You, can you can you let me finish? Just let me finish yes, reading course. this. Sorry. Sorry. At the beginning of each round, you party chooses which character acts first. Once the agent finishes their action, the GM chooses one of their threats to act. The player and GM takes turn choosing act characters to act until the end of the round. Each participant in the combat gets a turn. So there are more threats than agents. Several threats will have their turns in a row, even uh, after every agent has acted. You Answer and your the GM may choose to spend glory or ruin to change who acts next. This is known as season initiative. Uh, right. Well, you did. You sort of had a. Uh, you did have a ambush, but the ambush is long over since you threw the grenade mm. right so I'm just going to fucking click roll because that seems like the best thing to do yeah 
Okay, we're getting combat. Pop that out. Oh. Ooh, Acolyte Hybrid. Acolyte Hybrid and Cult Magnus. Hmm. Ivan. Hmm. <laughs> Hybrids. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. You're having um, flashbacks, don't you? They look fairly yeah. really similar to Gene Steelers. Yeah, I'm like, death to the swarm! And I, uh, I I unload on the first thing that comes out of the door. That's, uh, well, that's next. I'm actually going to spend a ruin and seize the initiative to tell you the truth, Nathan. Okay. <laughs> spend glory, a ruin spend glory. and seize the initiative. Spend glory. I will spend glory to add uh, to add extra damage. Oh, okay. I'll do so, that um, so the doors, the doors fly open, and these creatures like pulling the rags. Well, they've already taken the rags off inside the car. That's why they were wearing rags, so that they could like somewhat hide among the uh, among the among the uh, the followers, right? Yep. Uh-huh. Uh, obviously, the Magus passes as human. And yeah, a, a group of. Uh, a group of like free ac- uh, um free hybrids or free creatures yeah you're a bit confused because they look somewhat like gene stealers but aren't like gene stealers as in like yep. they've got three arms or two arms or or, or four arms and 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 their their their, their complexion is a lot a, a, a lot more subdued purple than, say, a Gene Steeler's faces. I know they could be any colour, but I'm just generalising, yeah. like, how I imagine, how I picture Gene Steeler's in my head, which are, like, purple and blue bodies. Um, I'm not... I thought they could blend in. I thought they could change shape. They can't change shape. Gene Steeler's can't? Okay. But I can... Um, I'm not really concerned with the name of a thing. I just want to know the sound it makes when it dies. So, oh, okay. Well, I don't they come... <laughs> they, they, they pour out of the car... They know you're on the roof because they heard yeah, the thump, okay. and then they heard the, the 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 grenade hit the side of the the window. Mm-hmm. Then it exploded, so they know you're on the roof. So one of them just literally comes out of the car and and literally just swipes at your leg um, from from below. Cool. Um, right, okay. How do I do this? Combat. My defense is three. Okay, yeah, rending claw. Rending claw. Your what is free, yeah? Mm-hmm. Does that get added to the difficulty or is it just the diff that's the difficulty? That's the difficulty. Alright, okay, cool. Five successes. Mm-hmm. 12 damage, rending 2. What does rending mean? Don't know. Uh... Oh, shit. Um, does my armor reduce the damage? I can help. I think it does. Yeah, but rending might ignore certain levels of armor. Oh, they've got yeah. AP of 2. So what's your armor? My armor is... I don't know. It says a. It says rating four. When you shift an exalted icon as part of an attack with a rending weapon, these we, the weapon AP improves by the rending rating for that attack. Oh, okay. Fucking hell. Uh, so what's your armor? Sorry. Uh, I think it's four. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Let me look at the sheet. Uh, combat. Wounds, conviction, resolve, shock, stealth. Nope. I want to say it's four. Because it said the, the ratings of the thing was said four. Well, oh, you, the... you, you take your resilience mm-hmm. off the damage. Yeah. And then you roll your determination in order to turn. And what, the deter- what you roll on the determination turns into shock. And then the rest is wounds. Okay, so... I have That's resilience in his time. in the AP. Right, I put the AP. I think in the determination roll, don't I? 
Mm, nope. Okay. Right, no, so no. in your in your gear. Yeah. If you go to your armor, it has an equipped. Yeah, it's already equipped. It's equipped. it's already equipped. So what's yeah. your what's your resilience? Oh, that's right. It's going to automatically. It's going to automatically deduct it. Yeah, my yeah. resilience is eleven. Yeah, so that means you've got you you you've got one damage, and then you can make a determination roll to turn that into shock. Okay. Wow, I didn't do much damage. That would have eviscerated me. Yeah, but I've got carapace armor. Zero wounds, zero shock. All right, good. That's because I got a six. So I got an exalted. Uh, I got a six. So that takes care of my uh, turns it to shock and then turns it to zero. All right. Good. Okay. Bravo. So his claw Bravo. bounces off my leg. Wakang. And I look at him and I see that it's a claw and I see that it's a uh, that it's like a like a thing, and I'm like, oh, I knew it. <laughs> It smelled Gene Stealer all along. Okay, so now it's your turn. Gene Stealer light. <laughs> I point blank unload on it with my uh, my uh, las rifle. Mm -mm -mm. Combat. Hey, las point rifle. blank las rifle. What's the what's the defense of the thing? I get a bonus die because I'm point blank. I'm short range. Resilience is what well, defense is free. It's, it's three. Okay. All right. All righty. Two possible shifts. Okay. So this is where I want to. I'm going to roll damage, but I'm going to want to spend glory to add extra damage dice. And I have a talent that says. I'm an expert inflicting pain through the weapons of the Imperium. Whenever I spend glory to increase damage when using a weapon with the Astra Militarum keyword, which I have, I can add plus rank to the final damage value. Okay. So I can add three. So I'm going to roll damage. I'm going to see where it's going to allow me to spend glory. Damage seven. What do I right click? If I make private, nope. I guess I just have to. All right, we got to look at the rules then because it won't allow me to auto do it. Mm -hmm. Combat, damage and dying. Oh. Okay. Let me go to the options. Let me see the. Oh fuck! No, no, no! I didn't want to do that. Bring this is so kind of. This is so clunky. Right. Every glory that you spend adds one to your total damage value. Okay. So if you spend three glory, do three extra damage. That's why there's no interface to do it because it's just a straight one for one. Okay. When, so so when you do it, you add an extra. So if you spend yeah. one, you get four. That's gonna bump it to eleven. Yeah, I'm gonna do it in kind. I'm gonna spend two glory, and I'm gonna bump that to twelve damage. Okay. Uh, I've said so. You should be able to spend the glory. Alrighty. Do I go back to chat? What do I do? Do I right click it? Uh, is there a minus sign? Oh, wait. Let me look at the thing. Close character sheet. Okay. You should be able to pop the cat sheet out, but I assume you're not using two screens. I am using two screens, but I, it won't let me do anything to the glory or ruin. Okay. Key thing. Right, I thought I did that. Yeah. Okay, so you're spending two glory, yeah? Oh, then now I can see it. Yeah, I'm spending two. When you just right. did something to it, now I can see the plus and minus. Okay. Okay. Can you, yep, I'm spending you, two glory. Can you can you can you put can you press the plus sign then? And then press the minus sign. All right, that works. Yep. All right. Um. Yeah. So twelve damage to him. 
Okay, 12 damage. In his resiliency. Okay. Get to roll his... Okay, so his oh. resilience is 5. I'm AP 2. I don't know if it figures if it's going to figure that in or not. <clears throat> so what does A so AP does what? Sorry, I'm really sorry. It's just a bit. So AP is armor piercing, and, it re, and I'm assuming that what it does is it reduces the armor value of whatever armor you've got. So your resilience is your toughness plus your armor value of your armor. Um, so if you've got anything more than two points of armor, then it reduces it by two. Right. So, what do you you should have taken more damage then, shouldn't you? Be in that last attack. <laughs> I don't know. Should I have two more? I can roll it again if you want. Don't let me see. Let me, let me no, look. At, look at my roll. I got. I got three. So that's three possible. I got three successes. So that's what's that? Three shock? Yep. Two shocks. Two sh it's only two shock because the double cancels out one. Yeah. So that's two shock. All so right. let me. So, all right. so five becomes three. Three yep. from Twelve. 10 damage becomes seven. And then I get to roll determination. I have uh, it's twelve damage, by the way. That's Colt Magus. I'm looking at the wrong fucking thing. Oh, too yeah, many windows just... open again. Close that. <laughs> Close that. Sorry, I haven't got a map because I didn't assume it's okay. you'd you didn't do, see this. I do some. I oh, do okay. Some... Resilience. So resilience is seven. Mm -hmm. So seven minus two is five. Five from ten is five. No, and then five from twelve. Huh? So he did twelve damage. If his resilience oh, okay. is seven, yeah, and it, so it's minus two for the AP is five. He's done twelve damage, which leaves him with seven incoming damage that can be resisted with determination. Okay. So how much? How many wounds are coming in? Seven. Seven. Yep. yep. Nine. So yeah, all seven wounds. Daka daka daka. <laughs> pew pew. I got a pew pew. <laughs> yes. The last rifle, it's pew pew, not what's, a bolt gun, daka daka. The, the daka daka, yeah, I wish it was a daka. I gotta see what the. I gotta see what. Um, I keep forgetting what rapid fire does. Rapid fire one. I keep forgetting what that does. Just go to combat and click on it in the weapons tab. It, won't, it will uh, expand and tell you. Ooh, ooh. There it is, yeah. <clears throat> okay, if I hit with a rapid fire weapon at short range, I gain extra damage dice equal to the weapon. Okay, there we go. I think it's auto calculated in, though. Okay, uh, all right. Uh, that's your turn, isn't it? Yeah. Is it still, is it still alive? Yes, it's heavily Blood. wounded, but it's still alive. Blood of the Emperor. All right, that's the end of my turn. Um, end turn. Okay. Uh, like I said, so from the other side comes uh, another Acolyte. Or, no, mm -hmm. not Acolyte. Uh, yeah, Acolyte hybrid. And, yet again, he swings for your leg. Okay. Now, how did we work out... A second, how do they do multiple attacks? I mean, do they? Oh, fuck For so. every extra attack, you take two extra difficulty, I think it was. Yeah. Okay, well, he's going to do two attacks on you, but he has a talent that negates the two difficulty. Okay. Right. So Rending Claw. 
first attack. Wow. Five successes. <laughs> yep. Both <Okay>. approved. <laughs> so I've got a shift. So I've got a shift of one. So I can increase the damage, yeah? Yeah. Why? I won. All right, I'm going to increase the damage by one. 13, 14 damage. AP of I thought, two? I thought, it, I thought it added that in. I thought that no, damage... There's no way of adding it. Yeah, I thought, I thought it automatically added it in when you rolled it, because don't they do 12 damage? What does it say on the sheet that they do for damage? Uh, Red and Claw does 11 damage. Okay. So, yeah, it might have it might have added it in. All right, cool. Boo, 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 boo. So, 14 yeah, damage, no. minus 11. Boom, 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 boom. Here's my determination. That's one, two, three, four, five successes. <laughs> so, um, damn. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Just soaks it up again. Clang. All right. Um, hold on a sec. Let me. Dice pool. Okay, no, 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 no. I gotta roll again. I'm sorry, James. I'm sorry. So that's eleven minus fourteen. So that's three. But it's AP, so it's five because the AP is two. So five wounds are coming. I have to put the wounds thing in. I, I think the shift is automatically added, but yeah. Yeah. There you go. So one wound, four shock. Okay, cool. All right, that makes more sense. Okay, and his second attack. He didn't succeed. <laughs> he has a perils of the warp as well. <laughs> so James's Magus rolled uh, four successes, six failures, a wrath complication. So. Okay. So, um, <laughs> so he, goes, he goes to reach out to your mind. So basically... Make you fucking piss yourself and run off. Did he even succeed? Because he it was DM five. No, he didn't. He only got four successes. Fucking typical. Um, okay. right. So he doesn't succeed in the in his in his psychic ability to make you piss yourself and run off. And then suddenly, twenty five meters. So yeah. So so Nick Nicholas, you start smelling this disgusting smell of. No, everyone in 25 meters. Whoops, What's I shouldn't this? have done that. It's okay. Sorry. Uh, My toughness test to resist the damage, but it's okay. 25 is not a damagey thing. It, it, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a side. No, he has, to roll a, he has to roll a toughness test, though, in the, in the, in the roll. All creatures roll a, roll a toughness test. D and three toughness tests, including those protected by technological breathing apparatuses. Yeah. He, he was rolled early, that's all. Yeah, I was hitting enter to try to change the DN. I didn't know what actually roll the dice. Sorry. Oh, okay. I've got confused. Okay. Um. So t yeah, we'll say twenty five meters away. We'll say we'll say that the the car's like at twenty about twenty five meters away from where Nicholas is, as well. So yeah. So so Nicholas, your your psychic your your detection of the warp goes off again. A bit more right. powerful this time. Right. Uh, I'm going to roll for Deny the Witch to cancel this guy's power. Yeah, but the, his power failed. Oh, okay. Never mind. All right. Well, then yeah. yeah, okay. All right. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. All right. So I had to roll a toughness test because this guy's... Uh, this guy's Perils of the Warp is a miasma of decay. The stench of rotting meat and decaying flesh rises from the ground within 25 meters of you. All characters, or you, not you, the, the Magus. All creatures within range must make a DN3 toughness test, including those protected by technological breathing apparatus. That's me. Um, those who fail suffer one shock. Okay, so I rolled a toughness test. I got six successes, two failures, and a possible shift, and a wrath critical. 
So I'm going to, that automatically added one glory. I'm going to use that shift to add another glory to the glory pool. So okay. we're back up to six because I have a feeling I'm going to need it. <laughs> okay. so yeah. At this point, I will bark at Nicholas and say, why haven't you moved, soldier? I gave you an order. And then... Uh, go ahead. Oh, then, then I'm going to say, hey, I'm detecting the strong presence of the war. Someone's, someone's being used outside. It's right outside. You don't smell that? Yes. I will say, I will draw my chainsaw, start it up, pull my pistol, and run back through. the. So as the crowds are coming out, I'll be like pushing my way through to try and get to them, going the other way. While I'm in the middle, I'm running out trying to get to that back door. So I'm I, I'm halfway ahead of you in terms of the, the, the length of the okay. building. All right, so cool. we're running towards the horrible warp beast, whatever it is, that we Am don't I know about react? yet. To before people exit the church. Oh yeah, and and uh, uh, Ivan's character can see all this from the top. If you don't start getting busy, no, he needs more information. He needs more information. He so right. He's in the middle of the build on the middle of the roof. Right, it's a flat roof. Yeah. He he won't. He cannot see down. On the car itself. Yeah, but I can throw a grenade into the crowd while they're before they try to exit the church. Well, hold the on. Church. Well, okay, when, yeah, when... you can. Yeah, you totally can do that if you want to throw a grenade down into the middle of the church. When I mean, Sergeant the... Payne, when Sergeant Payne leaped off the building, he before he did that, he handed um, Ivan a grenade. So yeah. he handed him a grenade that he leaped off. Like, wouldn't the natural response of Ivan be like? He just leaped off the he just leaped off the fucking building. I'm gonna go nope. peer over and see what right, so happened. okay, okay, so let's establish what happened, right? Ivan yeah. told him to piss off and go check out what's going on, right? While he was yep. paying attention to get what's going down through the hatch. Yep. He may not have even seen Payne jump off the roof. I didn't yep. say anything, I just did it. <laughs> so I don't think Ivan knows what's yeah. going on. All right, he's lost in the sauce. Yeah, yeah. Ivan needs more information. Yeah, for sure. Right, yep. So, Ivan, what are you doing? So, the crowd starts exiting. You can you well, can see Nicholas trying to weave his way through the crowd. Yeah. Uh, well, since uh, the crowd went into some form of frenzy when he said that he was going to go kill people up high, right? Yeah, Ish, but not went, like not yeah. like they're going berserk. It's just like no, I, I, I know, but they were like a. A uh, spiritual frenzy, or what we want to yeah, call they're it. They're full of zeal. Yeah. <laughs> Since they're clearly all heretics. Yeah, remember the, the, the these two guys. These two guys are in the crowd, though. And... No, yes, Nicholas, right? Right. So when you see down, you see Nicholas running towards the back door, and then you see uh, Davian's character. Fighting through oh, yeah, people, towards the people, entrance, trying to get people at the front, closest to the front, start like holding, like choking. Some people start falling over. Um, in fact, Nicholas, I actually need you to give me a a tough DM free toughness test, please. You got it. He didn't drink the Kool Aid. <laughs> yeah, but I said he was within twenty five meters, right? No, 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 yeah. no. no. I, I made a Jonestown reference. Sorry. Oh. The religious zealots in the, in the Caribbean that, that drank the purple Kool Aid and died. Oh, it wasn't it was Flavor Aid. They drank the purple drink. Okay, if you don't succeed, you take one shock. Oh. <laughs> okay. And I believe shock is the top. The top color, the top bar uh, on your. If you right click your token, it will bring up. Two numbers on top and the bottom. Bottom is wounds, and the top is sh is shock. It's I under combat too. Yeah, I, I I put it under combat. All right. Yeah. Okay. Right. Uh. Okay. I'm gonna add you. All right. So. So. Okay. So. Uh. uh Ivan, what are you doing? Well, do I believe that I will be able to throw the grenade without hurting? Uh, Nicholas. Save the grenade. 
Don't Nathan? throw the grenade. Save the grenade. Nathan, you're not there. I'm sorry. <laughs> My question still stands. Will I be able? To, do I think I will be able to throw the grenade without hurting? Well, you can just drop it. You're not. Fr you, you don't even need to throw it. But uh, I. S <clears throat> you might catch him in the blast. No, I'm not gonna go for friend of the fire. Um. Yeah. Then we. Yeah, they're making a to... beeline. They're making a beeline for the uh, back door. Yeah, but the other guy is trying to get out the front door, right? Who? The the, the one who was preaching. He was. No, nope, he's heading out the back door as well. Yeah, no. Okay. So, 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 so what you see, you see everybody headed towards the front door. Myself and that Nicholas and Devin are both headed towards the back door. So what what's happened is is that the the Gene Sealer Magus has handed the note to Garrett. Yeah. Garrett and so, then left and got in the car. Yeah. Garrett has done his preach. And at that yeah. point, every they, all of the, the congregation, have gone, excellent, let's go and ah, and, and started to leave the temple. Yeah. yeah. Since I and, can't throw a grenade without hurting Nicholas, most likely, I'm gonna position myself so that when uh, the preacher, I can't rest, just remember his name. Garrett. Garrett. Garrett leaves. I can try to make a shot at him. Garrett's already left, right? No, he's about to leave. Okay. Okay. Long range. Let's see if my weapons even can shoot at long range. What's long range? Uh, two, four. Um, Hang on. I think it's DN plus four. Let me look at the combat modifiers. Quick reference real quick. Uh, is it more than uh, 18 feet? Or what the measurements in this game is? No, hold on. Um... Me is. A meters, 18 meters. Uh, no, it's not. What gun are you using? If they're beyond medium range, they get a plus two defense. To to. Uh... Is it a lad's pistol you're using? Yeah. Are you wild? If your target is beyond, yeah, long it's between. Range... So it's probably about 16 meters away. Okay. So it's between medium and long. Okay, so he gets a he gets a plus two defense. So whatever the DN is, so it's whatever the guy's defense is, you add two to it, James, and that's what he's that's his DN. Okay. All right, so it's gonna be a difficult so shooting him it's gonna be difficulty four. Yep. Yeah. Uh and I'm gonna make the aim dead shot. So that it gets uh, so five in DN minus one for my eyes, but that should be calculated in. Mm -mm -mm. Leave so let's double check. No, it's not okay. So it's a DN of five, and I have eight dice. Why is it doing a five? Because I add one extra because I'm doing a headshot. Oh, okay. Is that what a headshot does? Hang on. No, it, it's targeting a specific body part or something like that gives one extra degree of difficulty and for M plus uh, one degree of damage. Uh, no ED for a cold shot. For shooting at a weak, weak point. Uh, 
Uh, so this should be right. Let's see. Okay, eight successes. That's a hit. Yep. Uh, I'm going to use the shift for damage. Okay, how many? How many? Okay, you're going to need to roll an additional d6, I think. There you go. That's an exalted. <laughs> hey, that's how you do it. That's how you do it. That's 17 damage. Oh, fuck. I haven't written his runes in. Bollocks. Um, okay, not, give me a second. Uh, I don't think it's 17 damage, man. I think that that six is a is a exalt, so it's two successes. So it adds two to the damage. It's 13 damage. Oh, okay. Yeah. What does ED do? Because that's just a general question. When you roll for damage, so that's the so you 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 dam you, your last pistol has a base damage, and then mm -hmm. you roll extra dice on top of that, and that's the dice you roll for damage. So ED is extra okay. dice. Okay. So you got another. So okay, so you need to roll another two d six, yeah. Uh, I added it to the ED, so it should be automatical, but I don't know why oh, okay. I would roll two dice. It should be three dice. There's oh. always it always misses out the first dice on the graphic for uh, oh, okay, that's why. Okay, that makes sense. So it's a graphic graphic bug or glitch. Yeah. Makes sense. Oh you can right click those <coughs> damage. Okay, okay. Okay, um, give me a second. I just need to pull open the uh, PDF. Yep. So I was trying to assassinate all the important characters. Should I use glory to increase the damage? <laughs> we should be at six glory, right? At what? We should be at six glory, right, Nathan? Yeah. You got the other two? We're sitting yeah. at we're still sitting at four right now. Mine says six. Grab the grab the window and move it around. Okay. Mm, no difference. Yep. Same. It says six for me, so I might refresh. Sometimes it took a minute for mine to update. <clears throat> Here, let me let me click one down and Fucking one up hell. again. Okay, all right, okay. Um, all right. Okay. Well, right, so you've done 11, 13 damage. Uh, I'm going to roll... What's he got? He's got... Okay, flak armor's already been applied. Uh, and then I've got to do determination, yeah? So, no, so resilience is nine. Um, nine for me... Nine from thirteen is three, and then four. I just got to do determination. Four. Yes, four. Oh, four. four. Okay. All right. Okay, so he takes two wounds. Damn it! He's shots. a he's right. a heavy hitter. He screams out in pain. He as, as he screams out in pain, a bunch of the severe, like the ones that aren't fucking choking to death or falling to the ground because of this stench of smell, turn around and see that he gets shot. <laughs> no, like, dear leader. <laughs> right. I'm cyborg, cyborg out of here. Boop, 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 boop. I need to add everyone else to the initiative tracker. Oh fuck me! How am I going to do this? Um, just going to roll. Just grab no, just grab the roll. icon. Uh, no, I've done it. I've done it. I just need to set it up so that one. Uh, okay, right. Um, right. Oh 
Oh, I can change this in if Okay, oh, it's awesome. So give me a second to quickly update this. So I, I like looking at the uh, the little the wrath and glory info sheet or not info sheet but the wrath and glory like splash cover that he has for the game, and I, I chuckle every time I look at that space ring blasting a hole through that bandit type dude. <laughs> oh yeah, no, nah, he's giving like, him what for, bro. Yeah, he's like like I'm just gonna run up on this guy and kill him, right? <laughs> Kaboom. <laughs> Good lord! Look, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna walk up to a space marine and annihilate him. This is gonna be. Bro, he's he's so close. Like the blast from the barrel is going through his body. Yeah. And the tech priest is shooting the orc in the back. Mm-hmm. Shorty down low, getting busy. Yeah. Meanwhile, Short homeboy down. with the with the with the dreadlocks is talking mad shit. Yeah. He's I got, got pistols. I got pistols. I got a pistol. That's, I got a pistol. Um, that, that's actually the uh, your um, rogue trader, by the way. That's actually our. Okay, cool. Yeah. That's uh, that's Veronius. Glorious. That's a smart looking jacket. <laughs> Should have think Colonel Mustard. <laughs> they spy at have something like that. We're, we're on it. It's all about the collar. It's all about the high collar. <laughs> Terry Reader. Oof. Oh, so there are six of these things. Yeah, they're they're just in a group. Well, you're, we're about to learn how to damage people with hand grenades. You're right next to it, though. Yeah, okay. but I got I got armor. <laughs> uh, I got eleven resilience, and it's damage ten. Right, let me go through there. Okay, so <laughs> so a player can act. Can't, uh, so whoever wants to act first can act first, or or, or you can decide. Is that correct? All right. I think I'm right, doing you, it correct, right? Yeah, you are. So if you, are you starting a new round, James? Yep. Was, right, so then it's a player goes first. And then, unless you want to take the initiative. I'm not going to take the initiative this turn. All right, so I want to know where, where is um, Nicholas, where is Davian in terms well, Nicholas. of... Like, towards the back door, can I see what's going on with... With Sergeant Payne, and, or am I still kind of caught well, in with that that shot well, that you are having to, took? Right, you're you and Davin are trying to get through the crowd, which is not easy because there is a hut like quite a few like about just over a hundred people in this room. So you're you're going against the flow. So you know you, you're not you know you can't you you. You probably saw the the bolt fire like the laser, the the las bolt fire down, but you don't know what uh, Ivan shot at. Okay. Well, you do because you hear it's hear someone scream. <laughs> so do Hi. I see? Do I see uh, Garrett? Does I see him up there? Yeah, uh, Garrett. Or well, the guy who the the guy who uh, Ivan shot. You cannot see him because he is, he has descended the podium, or the dais. All right, so and I'm having same... a hard time. So I, I'm trying. So what I'm well, thinking. Well, what, go ahead. Well, I haven't got a battle map because I didn't make a battle map for this this section. Okay, because <laughs> well, what I'm thinking, either I want to attack this guy or I want to use my disturbing voice to say, "Get out of the way! Get out of my way!" To get a path clear so I can book it uh, out the back door. Well, so it's, it's one of those. I think two. Neil just. I think Neil said that you can't. You can only do it to one person, right? Yeah, I think so. But um, you know, you can check. But but see. there's no harm in trying, is there? Because you could spend for extra effect if you got shifts. That's okay. how it works, isn't it? Yep. That's true. Or move the action. Uh, 
for everyone that you want to intimidate. All right. No, right, Neil. We'll just go with. We'll just go with it. If you get a shift, you'll be able to cause extra effect, right? We'll just rule that, and we'll look it up later. Okay. You want me to roll for that then? Yes, please. Can you give me some assistance with this, um, Neil, in terms of how like how we roll this? But it's an intimidation check. Got it. Cool. And then if you're using disturbing voice. Got Sorry. it. Um, yeah, disturbing voice. It gives you plus rank bonus dice to your intimidation check. So you're rank okay. two, so that's two bonus dice. I'm rank three now. I, oh, so I'll, I'll he's not. Five. He's oh, he's two. not. No, no. <laughs> Hasn't. I, so I'm adding two to my DN. No. My rank. Two no, to your bonus. Two. So where it says... Where it says, um, so you've got your your dice pool. Got it. Is your intimidation dice pool, and then for got rank, it. just put click on the plus rank button. Okay. Right. And then you haven't got any other bonuses to. Um, Hang on. Let's make sure his rank is showing though. It's it's is it rank or is it? Um, that's why I asked. Hold on. I got it right here. You add you add yeah. it under rank under dice pool. Yeah. Oh, but his rank's only one. Okay. For for what? Well, it for intimidation. Well, it shouldn't be because for, he's, for he's, intimidation, he's, he's six. He's received. Hang on, stop. He's received fifty experience points, so that makes him rank two. Yes. All right. I've just yeah, I've just done it. Yeah. So you click on intimidation, and under your dice, where it says dice pool, in the drop down menu for rank, you put plus rank. Okay. And then the difficulty number, James, is? Uh, difficulty four. Oh. A lot. Yeah. And then you press roll. So DN4? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Here we go. Oh, goodness. Well, that's how the crookie crumbles. <laughs> Sometimes okay. it's stamped heresy. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, Nicholas, you sort of turn to you sort of as you're sort of like walking, you sort of like get out of my way, and people just start barging into you left, right, and centre, uh, not even paying any attention. Okay. All right. Okay. En no. Can you click enter? It. You can't because it's stuck on me. Oh, all right. You want me to click it? I've done it. Okay. All right. Right. This acolyte is going to attempt to attack you again, Nathan. Yeah, is he on the same side as the other one that I wounded? No, he's on the opposite side. On the opposite side, okay, okay. As like another one crawls out of the back of the car as well. Yeah, gotcha. So real quick, just for my visual, see how you have the characters around in that that kind of that that horseshoe formation. Could you put them in position to where they actually are? Like if that's the car, like the center. Nathan's probably on top of it. Like the guys, like who's still in the car, who's still out of the car. So that way, when we get out there, I need to have a good visual on, on that. Okay. Thank you. Okay. 
Makes sense. All right. And I am on top of the car. So <laughs> there's uh there's five guys still in the car. A second gene stealer just got a gene stealer thing just got out of the car. All right, so there's three guys out of the car right now. Yep. Yes. Right, so he's gonna attack you, Nathan. Yep. He misses. Fuck's sake. Right. Yeah, take that. Okay, another player character can act. I'll go next. I'll catch up with Nicholas. Okay. And I will say, let me try. And say, in the name of the Emperor, move! And then I'll try with my intimidation. Um, you shall let me pass. <laughs> yes. No. DM4. Let's oh go, baby. God. There it is. Right. Ten successes. Right. That, that's Holy better. Ten Holy successes, God. five failures, two shifts, and one glory. We're already at max glory, so. Yeah. Part okay. like the Red Sea, you heretic yeah. bastards. Yeah, they, they part <laughs> out of your way. <laughs> yes, they do. Technically, they all have to make fear checks now in order to not shit themselves at me, but there you go. They start running. They start, like, they part around you. They're like um, like a gazelle, like a, 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 a stampede of gazelles that sort of, like, part around the... But a lion comes into the middle of them, yeah. Yes, I get you, right? <laughs> and I'll bark at, at Nicholas. Let's move, Psyker! <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's your turn. Yeah. Okay, uh, I'm going to say Garrett steps through the door, clutching a wound. Okay, that's his turn. Uh, and obviously he spots, like, fucking the, 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 the combat that's going on over probably about 15 metres away, and pulls his gun out. Okay. Uh, next player. Hmm. I'm going to go. Oh, all right. Do that. Um, I'm going to attack. I'm going to whirl at the guy that just tried to attack me. I'm. Mm, should I do this or should I not? Yeah, I am. Um, I'm gonna whirl and uh, lay down fire and try to multi-attack these two guys. So I'm gonna add. I'm gonna have to add plus two DN to the second guy, but I'm gonna roll no, one go. attack. I'm gonna roll one attack and uh, yeah, apply apply plus two difficulty number. And if I hit both of them, then I get to do damage to both of them. Yep. And I'll spend glory, and it'll be it'll be glorious. It'll be glorious wrath. Um, okay. So let's do you it. can also hit specific body parts if you want to. That's no, I don't. One okay. extra DN. Nah, I'm good. Dice pool 10. It's at short range. Wrath is one, damage is this, extra damage dice, extra damage AP. And roll. Hmm. Four successes, so I succeed. Add plus two. I don't hit the second guy, and I got a wrath complication. So Didn't it get applied uh, to. It gets applied automatically, doesn't it? What yeah. does? If you're doing a multi action, it gets applied to both, does it not? Yes. I thought it applies to the second guy. No, it gets no, applied both. to both. Okay, I don't. I don't. I don't hit anybody then. Okay, roll a complication. 
Oh wait, can I uh can I spend wrath to reroll? Yes. Let's do that. Let's do uh, that. It's ruin, that. isn't it? Wrath for us. Oh, is it wrath? Oh, yeah. Okay. Why is oh, that not a oh, reroll failed? Yep. Okay. There we go. That's there we much go. Better. All right, ten successes. So I hit both of them. Um, I have two possible shifts, which I'm going to shift for extra damage. Okay. And so, do you want me to roll the complication first or after damage? After damage. After damage. All right. Roll damage. I'm going to spend glory. Do 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 do. So damage 10, AP 2. I'm going to spend 2 glory to up that to 15. <coughs> Instantly minus off glory. And I sh do I sh how do I shift? Do I just roll 2 dice for damage to shift? Yeah. Yeah, OK. All right, so roll 2d6, roll. There we go. So that's what? That's a five and a four. That's two more. Two more damage. Two more damage. So 15, 16, 17 damage to both of them. AP2. And that's how you do uh, it. Are you, shooting the in are you shooting the injured one already? No, it's the two uninjured that are behind me. Okay. I, I, they attacked me, so I whirled on them and, and opened up. Well, the two guys on the right side of the screen? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Right, their resilience is seven, minus two is five, takes it down to ten. Termination, runes of ten. I up the damage to uh seventeen oh, by the way. Oh seventeen, alright, so that's twelve damage 12. then. Wow. That's one. Five runes. Seven shock. I don't think. I think it gets knocked out, right? Does seven shock? Uh, trans. Uh, does excess shock get translated into wounds? Or do they just knock you out when your shock bars fill? I'm not sure. I thought excess shock gets translated into wounds. Mm -hmm. Anywho, for my next action, I am going to. Um, if you suffer more shock than your maximum shock, you are exhausted. Um, so you get the exhausted. Okay. Okay. Yep, I am going to uh, use my talent. Um... I'm going to use my. Um... <clears throat> I'm going to use my talent, um, Hardy. I can use it. Uh, I need. I can use it once, and then I have to do a regroup. We have to do a regroup action before I can use it again. Um, and this damage gets applied to the other one, doesn't it, as well? Yeah. Yep. Yep, both of them. All right. All right. Uh, I'll do another roll. So <laughs> it's going to be 12 damage again. Oh, fuck me. That's not the right. I'm applying it to the wrong fucking thing. Ugh. Just switch the icons around. <laughs> if you no, no, no. I applied it to the base damage, so the I so they're all taking it. Uh, so it was. It was five runes, and then and then five shock. Then this one wins is twelve. Oh, fuck off. Just taking off 
Yeah, it took it off. Are you uh, using one sheet? Shouldn't matter. Seven. Yeah. How many wounds? Five, Five wounds. wounds. Seven shock. <clears throat> Let's look at the exhausted trait. <sighs> exhausted. Okay, and then this one. Twelve runes. Oh shit. Ten runes. All right, describe how you kill it. Uh, yeah, just straight through the throat. Okay. Blows out the brainstem, and the thing the 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 thing doesn't get a chance to make a sound as it dies, which is all I wanted to know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Right, that's your turn. Mm -hmm. Oh no, I get another. I get another action. I'm going to use my talent, my hardy talent. Um. Bam, 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 bam. As a combat action, I can make a DN3 toughness test. <clears throat> on a failure, I recover one shock. On a success, I recover one plus double rank shock. Each shifted exalted icon recovers an additional point of shock. Uh, once you use this talent, you cannot use it until you completed a regroup action. Okay. But I have wounds, so it's going to affect my toughness roll. Hey, success. Uh, and a wrath critical. And I get a point of glory, which I think is added already. Yep. Um, so yeah, I'm going to recover all my shock. Okay. And that's it. Um, where's the tracker? Yep, I end my turn. Right, the cult magus is going to reach out again. What's your defense, to... Nathan? Uh, three. Reach out and touch me. <laughs> Success five, failure six, shifts possible one, range 35 meters instant. What is this? This is the power smite. You smote me? <laughs> Mm -hmm. Smote me. Potency one. Prove the car. Yeah. So, um, I don't know. How do I resist? Um, how do I resist psychic powers? I don't think you do. This is a gun, essentially. <coughs> yeah, pretty much just target target one enemy within range and make a psychic master uh, will test against their defense if successful. The target suffers one, two, three more wounds. Yep. So yeah, so he just blasts through the fucking roof of the car. Okay. Nice. 
Oh, okay. How do I do mortal wounds? Right, you take one mortal wound. What the fuck's a mortal wound? Damage. I don't know, I just think it's a wound, right? Let's look at it. Damage and dying. More wounds represent damage that is particularly brutal, exotic, or otherwise incredible dangerous. More wounds ignore your resilience, in inflicting wounds directly. Determination rolls, see below, can't be made to negate mortal wounds unless a talent, iron war gear, or the GM states otherwise. Would you say <laughs> iron war gear? What? You said item or war gear? Yeah. Okay, got it. You just take a wound. Yeah, that's cool. I got two. Is that it? Mm -hmm. oh, boy, yeah, James, I mean, what you want to do? You want to kill me? No, because smite <laughs> smite is the entry level psychic power. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. It's just like be gone. Like every like yeah, that's that's the entry level. <laughs> yeah, see, disco he, guns. He, yeah, so he's all like yeah, he rips a hole in the roof basically as, as he sort of like fires his psychic power up up towards where the bowing roof, roof is. All right, cool. There's right, a hole in the roof now. Turn. That's yep. where uh, Ivan. Oh, we'll get to the end of the combat and we'll go to uh, a break. Yeah. So is it, uh, yeah, it's Ivan's turn, right? Yeah. So can I still see um, uh, Garrett? Garrett? He stepped through the door. But I know which direction the door is. I, I walk yes. towards that. You'd be like scuttling across the roof, wouldn't you, with your... No, I'm levitating. Yeah. Even better. What's your speed? Uh, six. Uh, you're going to have to run. Okay, then I then I levitate in run speed. Okay. Or, or run. I think that's all you can do, right? Run. I think so. I'm not sure. Probably. Right. Um, Garrett. Uh, he pulls. What did he pull out? He pulled. He pulled out his auto pistol. He pulls out his auto pistol and he starts running towards the uh, to the to the limousine that he can see. Um, and he pulls out his chainsaw as well to join the fray. Okay, that's the end of that turn. We'll go to a break. We will be back in 10 minutes. Don't touch that wait, dial. Wait, 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 wait. Quick question. Hasn't he already acted? Oh, yeah. Yeah, but it's okay. It's, it's, it's fine. It's fine. No, no. It's fine. Yeah, no, that's correct. Yeah, he has. All right, so it is a... Yeah, so, right. An, um, all right, so an, another acolyte c comes out of the car. Oh, gee, thanks, dude. And then uh, these two are going to attack you, Nathan. Yep, send it. Ooh. So this one. Defense of three. Okay, he's got DM4 because he's wounded. Yeah, I'm old, I'm old hat at that. Seven successes. All right, cool. That hits. Roll for damage, please. 14 Ooh. damage. Fourteen. Uh, and he's got eight. a. And he's got a. Is that a? AP. Did he get a? No, he didn't get a six on his um thingy. No, he didn't. When you okay. shift an exalted eye, what's an eye exalted icon? A six. All right. Okay, so he's going to shift the exalted eye icon. His rending claws is AP four. Boom, seven and seven, so seven wounds. Roll determination. Boom, seven. Boom, 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 boom. Roll. 
Four wounds, three shock. All right. Three shock. <coughs> All right. Good to go. Done. And then the final one. Rending claw. Failed. Doesn't hit awesome. you. All right. Black, black out. Of All mice right. and men. <laughs> so, uh... All right, a player character can act. Who wants to act first? I will act first. Oh, come on. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what do you want to do? I want to... I'm outside now because the way has been parted, right? Right. I'm trying to get to... Okay. Right, so... You, you, you're, you're in the center of the, the hall. You can run outside. <sighs> yeah, I got a choice. Run outside. Okay. You can see a bunch of multi armed creatures and uh whatever it is. oh uh Garrett. You can see Garrett like um sort of on his way towards Oh all right. Yeah, whatever. Oh, I guess he hasn't. I guess he's just standing through the doorway. So you just sort of like, as you sort of like run out, you you sort of follow Garrett out, uh, an injured Garrett outside. I don't think you would do that, would you? Uh, I'm trying to see. I just need to get a clear shot of outside to see what's going on. So I, I'm going towards that back door. If I see Garrett. How far is he away from the car? Uh, he's probably between you and the car. Okay. Uh, I'm going to... Do I still have an action left? Fuck it, yeah. I want to do uh, Wall of Flame. Okay. What does that do? Uh, wall of Flame... <clears throat> you throw your arms wide and count to see the energy of the warp, conjuring a wall of flame. Initially, you may freely shape this fiery wall as you please, though its dimensions have limits up to three meters wide, 20 meters long, and 10 meters, 10 meters high. Okay. You can summon the wall of flame anywhere within range of line of sight, including the space occupied by other creatures. Now, here's the kicker. Uh, creatures that attempt to pass the wall of flame or caught inside of it when it is summoned, immediately take a 12 plus 1 ED damage and are on fire. Creatures within 2 meters immediately take 10 plus 1 ED damage when the wall is summoned. And and again, each turn, they, they end within 2 meters of the wall. Okay, so what are you, what are you trying, what are you going to do? What I want to do is summon this wall and have it start right where Garrett is at. Okay. Give us a roll then, uh, please. All right, let's see. Sorry. Um, my roll. Okay. I want to re roll. I can't re roll, can I? Rough, you can. You got any points of wrath left? Why do you want to reroll? Because you failed. Oh. Yeah, because I failed. Oh, okay. I got one point of wrath left. Oh, it's a DN seven. Shit. Yeah. Uh, spend some glory to get bonus dice, dude. Did you already do that? No, I did not. Yeah, spend a point of glory to get bonus dice. All right, so I'm going to use Re one point of my, my 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 last point of wrath for reroll, and I'm going to spend two points of glory. Okay. So re-roll first before you spend the glory. Because you might not need to spend it. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Give me one second. In fact, you're probably going to pass with the re-roll. <clears throat> so yeah, it's a right click. Don't... Right. Sorry. I think... I don't know. Yeah, you rolled again. You need to you need to right click on the original roll. You can it still do it. It doesn't... Okay. It doesn't... 
Okay, yeah, reroll failed. We'll, we'll, minus one wrath. There you go. Yeah, hit it. And that succeeded. Yep. He's on fire. Roll damage. Apply on fire. <laughs> well, it's so, so the thing about it is, oh, so I'm rolling a, all right, cool. I got you. Twelve damage. But right, does Excellent. he get to resist it at all? Or does he just get applied? Yeah, it's just damage, isn't it? It's it's yeah, it's just damage. So so the it's it's 20 meters long, and I can shape it however I want. So I don't want to get the people on fire in the car around the car because I'm gonna hurt uh Sergeant Payne. But what I do want to do is get far enough away from him where he's not affected by the fire, but they take the they're within two meters of the of the wall of the fire, so they suffer a 10 plus one ED. I don't know if that's that's kind of difficult to do. Sorry, what do you want to do? All right, so you see that so you have Sergeant Payne in the car with the Magus, right? And then there's two other guys beneath them, right? Yeah. Okay. Cars traveling so, south, by the way. Right. So these guys here on the on the left hand side, I want to hit them. I want to hit um, Garrett and the two guys down here. He wants to so the the instead of making a wall like a like lateral, he's gonna make it like a like a linear attack. What guys you hitting? The... Sorry. Say again. The Which guy guys? that's already wounded. That one and that one. Yep. Yep. Those two. All right. So the, okay. But Garrett gets to resist the damage. Does he? Yeah, does it does yeah, it's, it's it's just damage. Yeah. Oh well, fuck I, me. Oh, all right. And I haven't applied the on fire either. Yeah. Okay. Um So does his resilience take away and negate it then? Yeah. Okay. Right, resilience is nine, 12 damage makes it free. Determination is five. So it's five runes. No. Yeah, nine. Three wounds. Three wounds. So three shock. Three shock. Well, he can right, knock him out too. He's gone and into he's... four. He's four shock. Is he on fire? Yes, he's, he's uh, yeah, yeah. I haven't applied on fire yet. Yeah, I've already applied it. Okay, you're, you're applying it to yourself. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know that. I'm just talking. I'm just clicking stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. I'm excited. I'm excited it's, it get... seems so. Uh, it seems so intuitive. We'll just click this. Yes, I want to apply on fire. Of course, yeah. <laughs> click. Okay, y'all um, won't see. You don't know that. That one. That one, right? This one's gonna have to do right. So damage seven minus twelve is five damage. Five runes, roll. Okay, describe how you kill this 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 uh, hybrid. Uh, he he just heats up from the inside, and you kind of see his body just kind of melt away, like his. Uh, like a slaggy bio pool of just flesh. I see this and I yell into the car at the Magnus. Ha ha ha! The Emperor's servants are upon you! <clears throat> Two wounds. And free shock. Okay. Cool. Okay, uh, oh, that's your turn? Yep. Okay, uh, 
another acolyte gets out of the vehicle. Sources probably does something. All right. Okay. Uh, so uh, it's going to. So so the one that the one that's already injured, exhausted, is going to attempt to attack you, Nathan. Um. It it, it it's still using its rendering clause because it hasn't got any weapons on it. Yep. Because it didn't know it was going to get attacked. Oh, that's six successes. <laughs> which is a hit. It gets a uh, one shift in damage. More damage. I don't it's know if it can sh damage. I don't know if it can shift if it's uh or you can't no never mind. I say I don't think it can shift with its attack. It doesn't get any combat actions if it's exhausted and it can't shift. Oh it can't, okay. Alright, we ignore yeah. that then. Alright, the one that's got out is gonna attack. No no here. no it, it it James, it can attack. It just can't have any combat options. Like it can't multi-attack. It can't. <laughs> it can't. Uh, Don't worry exhausted about it. means. Just, let's just move on. Okay. All right. The one that got out of the car is going to attack you. Yeah. Ouch. Seven yeah, successes. One <laughs> shift, and it's got a fucking complication. Complication is it fall prone. It's full. It falls prone. So I guess it gets out. It 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 sort of like goes to cut you. There's a burst of flame. It panics. It throws itself on the floor. Does it still hit me though? Yes. Okay. Let's roll that beautiful bean footage. Fourteen damage. Heck yeah, dude. Alright, minus two. Nine. Right. Next player. I'll go next. So I will sprint past Nicholas. Yep. There's a wall um, of flame. There's a wall of flame with Garrett in it, isn't there? Oh, yeah, no, I'm not in. Yeah, Garrett's in it. Garrett's, yeah, in, Garrett's it. in it. Yes, he is. So I will leap up through the air and bring my chainsaw down onto his back. Um, hopefully, I'm going to spend two glory to uh, add two dice to my uh, to my chainsaw attack because. Um, right. Oh, what on earth is this? Is interesting. Um, so that's uh, two more to my dice pool. There. What's the difficulty number as defense? Defense is two. Sweet. Up 23, Neil. Two. And roll. Approved with a wrath complication. Do you want me to do my damage first? Yes, please. Uh, I will put uh, both the shifts into damage. Okay. Yeah. So Eleven damage, is... and it, but it has, I don't know if it's applied the two shifts though. It hasn't has... yet, no, because I'm going to roll them. So that's an extra one. So that's 12 damage. 12 damage. Yeah. Resilience is 9. 9 minus 11 is 2 damage. No, 9 minus 12, so it's 3. Oh, yeah, sorry. He takes... One wound and two shock. One wound, but he can't take any more shock. I don't know what happens there. 
It's exhausted. He can just take a nap in that fire if he wants to. I don't even know what fucking fire does. He can sleep <laughs> now in it. He can sleep now in the fire. I have a feeling, I will just look it up while we're there, that if you can't, if you can't take any more shock, then you can't de- do the determination thing. Okay. Yeah, you, you're exhausted. When you have the exhaustion, you can't roll determination anymore. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. So, you t- okay. So, we, we... so he takes three wounds. It takes full three wounds. Okay. Okay, describe how you kill him. I say, I leap through the air, I drag my chainsaw into his back, and I'll say, die in the name of the emperor, heretic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I mean, that's his turn. That's my goal. So it's back to you, James. Okay. But they're on fire. He's on fire, and then you hear me go, smoking! (laughs) Smoking. (laughs) Fire. Found it on fire. You're on fire. You take 1d3 more wounds at the start of each of your turns. So he takes 1d3 wounds. He takes 3 more wounds, and he drops down dead. dead and then this one is also on fire takes 1d3 more whatever <laughs> speed sex the elite gene stealers were never told to drop and roll <laughs> gene stealer light takes two <laughs> wounds this one drops down dead Mm-hmm. Oh no, no he doesn't. He takes he's up to four. Okay, he's not he's not taken to he's not dead. Okay, uh alright, so he's gonna attack um Validius. Sergeant Payne. Yeah. He can't do anything because he's he can attack you but he can't do anything else because he's uh Wound. He's exhausted and wounded and everything else. He shot, lit, burnt, and on fire. <laughs> right, that's, that's five successes to hit you. Yep, that hits. Okay, this. In, in hindsight, I probably should have gone maybe one or two turns ago. But that's just right. for admin, admin stuff. Twelve, 12 damage. All right. Twelve damage. AP is four because you got an exalted icon. Okay. All right, next person. It's me. Hold on a sec. This may be my final. Final act. Um, okay, so do, 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 do. five shock. All right. Well, now I am one shock. So now I'm full of shock. That's four wounds. Okay, you're exhausted. I am at twelve wounds out of eleven. I fall over. All I need to do is throw a grenade, too. Right, you're on 11 wounds. I don't mean you can go higher. And I think you... Okay. Yeah, so I collapse onto the hood of the limo, or on the roof of the limo. Okay, you suffer a memorable injury and fall prone. Okay. Memorable injury... Ooh, that was effects. Scar. You're missing a finger. <laughs> you bit my finger off. <laughs> and you fall prone. Okay. 
missing finger. I'm missing fingers. Cool. That's why. That's how I got the name Lefty. <laughs> All right. I'm unconscious, right? Yeah. Okay. Good. All right. Yeah. I'm. I'm. My turn's over with. Because I didn't. I don't have a turn. So. Oh. Okay. So another player gets to go now. So I'm assuming that would be Oscar. Yeah. Yeah. That would be me. Uh, okay. So I. Can I run to the gene stealers without getting into the wall of fire, or do I have to pass through it? It's a line. You can run parallel to it. You'll be fine. Okay, then I try. Then I run as fast as I can, as long as I can, to the one that's standing that's burning. Okay. So, last. Okay, last turn. What did you do? Run to to the edge of the ceiling. So I have to. Okay, I have to jump down. I jump down from the ceiling. <laughs> oh, from much... from the silo. You might take full damage. Are you prepared to take full damage? Remember, we had to climb up it. Yeah, that's true. Okay, never mind. Can I shoot it from there? It's yes. Too far. Yes. Then I try to shoot it. You can only see these two. Yeah. Uh, shoot the one that is not lying down on the ground. Huh? I'm shooting the one that's standing up. The one that okay. is not. Right. Uh, Dn four. Right. Yeah. Yep. Oh no. Uh, three. Okay, you succeeded. Are you shooting the one on the floor? Yeah. No, the one that's not on the floor. The one that's already damaged. I can't roll determination. Nine minus seven is two. Okay, it takes two wounds. Yep. That's okay, my turn. Is that your turn? Okay. Yep. Now we've all had a go, so it's you till the end of the round, James. Okay. Okay, the Magus gets out of the car and starts fucking fleeing. Well, he can fuck off because he's dead. Okay. Right, round four. Can I have a go? Yep, play your character can go first. I will um, re reach down to my side, pulling out the silver tube, hold it up, press a button. There's a flurry of energy as I unleash my neural whip, and I'm going to try and catch the magus with my neural whip because it has a range and everything, okay. um, and see if I can catch him with it. I will uh, use two glory to add two extra dice to it. You can do two actions, Nathan. Who, me? Yeah. Why can I do two actions? You can fall back, or you can crawl. What's the defense number of the majors? <laughs> Three. Three. Excellent. Boom. Heresy. Well, I'm going to re. I'm going to re-roll my uh, fails because I have shed loads of wrath. 
all back. No. That's better. Um, so that's 10 successes. Um, but I've got a wrath complication as well. I've got three shifts. I'll put one shift into glory and two shifts. In fact, cons- I'll- are we constantly forgetting to roll the complications? No. It just... He got his finger cut off, remember? Well, I'll do the complication after damage, which is what you've done before. I'd rather do it before, because I think we keep forgetting to do the complication. Okay, here you go. My weapon is stuck. Uh, roll again if you're not using a melee weapon. All right, roll again. Fuck's sake. Drop a hey, drop a piece of war gear, grenade, a map of data. Da, 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 da. Okay, so I'll drop my chain sword. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, in my eagerness to whip this dude, uh, so that's ten successes, uh, three shifts. I'll put uh, two shifts back into glory. I'll put one as extra damage. Yeah. Um, extra one. Yeah, so that is seven damage minus two AP and agonizing. To which we get the joy of asking, what does agonizing do? If you um if you if you open up your equipment. Uh, it means every wound inflicted by the agonizing weapon also inflicts one shock. Um, but what I'm not, I'm not trying. I mean, the thing I was trying to do was whip him and, and catch him so that I could stop him from running away. But yes, there's damage as well because 40k, everybody gets hurt, don't they? Hang on, how much damage? How much? So you did six damage. Uh, seven with the extra um All right, so it's two wounds you've done two wounds yeah it gets to use its determination right it does and it's minus two ap as well oh fuck okay so that's four wounds. seven wounds ap of two is makes his resilience free so that's four wounds four wounds so he takes four shock, right? Is that correct? No, he takes so every wound that's successfully done. Oh, okay. So, right, so you so get to do the Oh, uh, and he's taken four wounds. wounds. Four. Four wounds. All right, roll. Right. So he takes three shock and one wound, and then because it's agonizing, he takes another shock because he's taken one wound. So he takes four shock. Four shock, one wound in total. Yeah. And one wound. Okay. Okay, you, you've you've whipped him good. Have I like, yeah. pulled him up? You've cut. Yeah, I, 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 I was gonna say you've cut. You go hold of him. Cool. So it's your go now. Okay, so he turns round, looks at you, he's in pain, and he's going to... What's he going to do? No, 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 no. He's going to attempt to terrify you. What do you get? Turn about is fair play, I suppose. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Well, he's he succeeded. So you need to do you need to do a DN five fear test for me, please. Cool. And Let me just check something. It's, it's, uh, it's the post. It also gets pearls of the wall. Nice. Oh my god, okay. 
Right, so it's a DN5 fear test, which is a... Willpower, I think. It's not resolve. Oh, hang on. I should really know, shouldn't I, saying I have the fear thing. Um... Probably tells me on the actual thing. It just says fear test. Uh... Uh, can't you press the fear test and do it? Ah, yes. I'll make a fear test. Well done, mate. Well done. Um, yeah, I'll I'll put two, spend two glory to give me some extra dice there. Yeah, that's exactly how you do it, isn't it? Hey, so I, I have a question for you guys. I make the fear test. My turn next. Yeah, so cool. I made the fear test. Good luck, mate. All right. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm built of I'm built of sterner stuff than having a gene steel. I've messed with my mind. Okay. And what was your question? So all right, check this out. So deny the witch says you can unravel another psyker's attempt to manipulate the warp. All characters with psychic keyword can attempt to prevent the activation of a psychic power within range or nullify an already active, sustained, or timed duration psychic power. My character must be aware that a power is being used in order to deny the witch. So how would I apply that? Before like psychic, or after? Psychic counter spell, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Maybe look it up to next time. Yeah, I got you. Does it say you can interrupt an action? Uh, I'll make up like action. actions. This can be used to deny power occurring before your turn, but this uses your combat action for the round. So, yeah, so you can say I want to dispel it, but you have to say it before I've rolled all the dice, right? Got it. Yeah, no, no, no. I if I to... fail. If I fail, you go, actually, I'm not going to use it now. Yeah, for sure. That's all defeats the object. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I just want to make sure. I just want to make sure. I just want to make sure. Okay, well, it, it's irrelevant because he didn't scare me. You're right, but he it's... did get a power of the warp, which basically means everyone within 25 metres of, of him causes living creatures to suffer shortness of breath and dizziness. All creatures without artificial breathing, this includes himself, are, are hindered... Uh, have hindered two for one minute. In addition to one wrath dice, must be added to all psychic mastery rule tests for the remaining of the scene. So everyone in this area, including him, becomes hindered. What the fuck is yeah. hindered? Hindered is a plus one DN for all tests. <laughs> hindered, hindered. I'm just trying to find what hindered, what the symbol is. Oh, that's hindered. It's the net. Okay, so he gets two hindered. If Nathan comes out, he gets two hindered as well. You are awake, by the way. You just... Yeah, I know. I, I just think that if i surrounded by at least... There's a couple genes to... I can't attack. So I can crawl for like half Four my hindered. speed. So that's like three meters. So I think I'm just going to stay on the... Stay on the... Um, I could do last stand and toss a grenade, but that's an optional rule. <laughs> and I'm going to take 1d3 traumatic injuries. And if I take rank plus one traumatic injuries, um, right. you, I die. All right, next turn. Who's going next? I think it's probably, it's probably me. Right? Yeah. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, yeah, it's probably me. Uh, so Dean is pretty high with his hindered. It puts anything I use like fiery form, wall of fires at DN nine. So that's out of that's out of control. I think the only thing I have left would be smite. That's not like DN crazy high. So uh just, just real quick, who who is still left alive right now? 
We have the Magus over here who just got whipped. This one, Whoa. this one, this one, and there's one still in the car. All right. I'm going to try to take down uh, the one on the left side, the, the, the second one. And is that person, did that person move out of the wall of fire? What person? The one um, second left, bottom left. Yeah, they've all, they're, yeah, they've moved out of the wall of fire. Okay, so I'm gonna go for smite the the um, that guy who's left. Right, if you want to ping something, just click and hold right mouse button, right. So what one? Uh, how do you do that? Just press and hold right mouse button. Left mouse button, left click. Press oh, and hold left. left. Sorry, yeah, I don't know my left or my right. It's all right. Yeah, this guy right here. Cool. Remember, remember right. to have I'll an tell extra you what, I'll tell you what, I'm going to say combat ends there. You've killed, you've killed all the uh, acolytes, and we're going to end it there with you've got a captured Magus. Okay. If that's if that's your plan, yes. That's some yes. That 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 would be a degree. Because if Megas put up a fight, I was going to turn myself on fire and hug him. I can do Be that on. too. <laughs> yeah, you're just gonna you're gonna give me questions. Yeah, you could have you could have turned you could have turned you could have burst into flames inside the church and just walked through the crowd, they would have gone out of your way. <laughs> so we've got, so we've got, we've captured that's the Magus. So let's say we've captured the Magus. I can slap my um, interrogation device on him so that if he gets a little bit psyche, I can just like press the button until he falls unconscious. Garrett's sure. dead. Yes. He's on his auto pistol, but I'm unconscious. I'm on, stand, I'm on standby to counter any spells you may try. He is heavily wounded. Okay, so we'll 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 as I say we'll keep a sort of we will apprehend him. We will secure him to the point where we've got the devices on him. That means if he does try anything, we can knock him out. Nicholas can also be there to like counter anything that he does. Garrett's dead. Is there anything like in the car or, or on <clears throat> them that sort of links apart from our testimony, which of course is perfectly fine. We've seen the, the bodies, but you know, is there any evidence? Because the one thing we haven't found, is there any evidence that they were the ones that killed the governor? The you know, why we're here. We'll find out next week. Yep. Yeah, uh oh no, yeah, he said he was gonna. Yeah, he said he was going to go sever the head of, really of the okay. current prefect, yeah, but yeah, not yeah. the planetary governor. That was the one that went missing. Yeah, right. Yep. Okay. Well, I, I mean, unfortunately, there there was a note in Garrett's pocket, right, which is no longer burnt to a crisp. <laughs> okay, so yes. everyone can get ten experience for today. Heck yeah. Um, as uh, as Ivan runs up to tend to my wounds. The last thing I say before my head goes back is, I told you it was Gene Steelers. <laughs> I pass out. <laughs> right. Okay. So um, let's do shout outs. Yeah. Nathan? Yeah. Um, so I am. I have written a, an adventure for uh, a cyberpunk game for, for Blade Runner. Um, I am currently trying to get it published, so uh, I will hopefully, hopefully, did they you, come out with a you... license that's conducive with uh, with publishing, but it hasn't been released yet. So they're going to do something. I just don't know what it is. But if it's anything like Alien, then it's it won't get. Um, you, you can't publish third party stuff. So I might pitch it to Free League to see if they want it to like pick it up and have them publish it. Um, if not, I may end up, uh, I may end up publishing it uh, th under um, Cyborg, the Mork Borg hack that's being released uh, by Free League here shortly. So I may, I may, I'll write it for, 
that or I'll try to publish it. But I want to try and publish something officially. Like I want to actually try and go the whole whole nine yards and do it and release it on uh, drive through RPG. So other than that, man, business as usual. All right. Thank you, Marcus. Uh, so I have a podcast. Episode one is dropping this Thursday called the White Rabbit Podcast found on rss.com uh, podcast. Uh, it's coming up pretty soon. I'll be dropping the first and third Thursday of every month. And uh, I'll have some additional content available um, depending upon the success of the podcast. That's it. What sort of podcast is it? Uh, it is a divine philosophy podcast. Fair enough. Tune yep. in to find out. Oscar? No, nothing. Sorry. Right. And Neil? Yeah, my shout out's not going to be for me. Um, it's going to be, you may well have seen me on this channel playing Liminal a few months ago. And the new supplement for Liminal Werewolves of Britain's about to come out. And uh, Dr. Mitch has reopened uh, pre-orders for it. The artwork, as always, is absolutely beautiful. But Becky Anderson's done an amazing job of realising loads of different werewolf legends into one comprehensive book. So if you like werewolves and you enjoyed Liminal, that's my plug. Go and hit the pre-order. And he also did my channel logo. Indeed. <laughs> He's a busy beaver. Busy as a beaver. Uh, as for me, don't forget to join me on, uh, join, follow me on Twitter. Uh, if you if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, do consider to follow the live stream. Um, if you want to help support the channel, um, other such good things like that, like and subscribe, leave a comment. It does help. Um, and we will speak to you next week after I've finished pulling the remaining of my hair out over the next week as I try and figure out what I'm supposed to do now. So, speak to you later. Bye. Bye.